What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of The Ramble, a.k.a. The Hot Mess Express. We have our hippie child over here. Y'all, this is our um, St. Patty's Day get up. We're wearing green. Yeah. And we got Dollar Tree supplies and here. We're gonna we're gonna drink today. Um, <laughs> shocker. We didn't want to startle you guys. You know, we're just letting you. It's we're because it's St. Patrick's Day. You know, because Larry H. Parker died. Larry H. Parker <laughs> died. Oh my God. He'll fight for you. Um, he was fighting for his life, girl. Was he? Mm -hmm. Or did he? Like... He had to be old, dude. He was on TV when we were nine. It literally, I remember when and I was a was kid. Old. Yeah, watching I Love Lucy, and then the Larry H. Parker commercial would come on. We will fight for you, dude. He's old. Yeah, I think his son's taking over the business, though. Really? Yeah, I think I seen one of his sons or his son. I don't know. I don't know another younger guy. They probably make money on the seven ten. Off the seven ten, they had a billboard together. One thing you can always find on the freeway. Maybe yeah. just a 710. I don't know. And implant signs. Yeah. Implant Dude, they, signs. And one time I thought signs. it was like, um, uh, I was like, why why are you missing your front tooth? And then it's an implant <laughs> commercial. I'm like, oh my gosh. Y'all, we are going to start this um podcast off a little wild over here and take a little sippy poo of something. This is called Catch Fire. Our homegirl mm -hmm. Liz got it for us. Shout out to you, boo. Um, and this Thanks, is Liz. a peach and cinnamon flavored whisk. And it is 30%. So we're going to bust this open in honor of St. Patrick. Who is St. Patrick, you should ask? Don't ask us. Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Literally. Love you, Patrick. I'm all, I am Catholic, um, but I don't know anything about this Mr. Patrick. Patrick. Now that's Patrick right that's there. Patrick. That's going to be going up my ass later. <laughs> Woo, cheers to that. Actually, this is better than Fireball. Yeah. Oh. It is. You definitely taste... Oh, this is sweeter for sure. So you taste the cinnamon at first, and then you taste the peach. This is a good little shooter pooter. Let's That's go ahead and shooter. throw that up there, girl. Well, we're... Good. Yeah, I it's like done. that. That went down nice, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, like... I like that better than Catch Fireball. Fire? Catch Fire. I think yeah. they, they might have other flavors, huh? I don't know. I've never heard of Catch what Fire before. What do we have? Before. Peach. Peach. That was yeah. Y'all, we are going to start this episode off as usual with our yucks and yums. We'll go ahead and let Jelly take the wheel over here and start off with her whatever you want. Do we have time today for me? Girl, we got all the time <laughs> in the world. Um, The battery is on uh, 89%, so you got 20 minutes, girl. Go ahead. Let's see. My Give yucks. it to us right in the keister, girl. I'm just, I have a, quite a few, as you were. Yucks. Okay, spit them out. Spit them out, girl. Um, we want to hear it. One, we didn't go to the concert. Oh, yeah. Um, If you guys did not see last week's episode, we already had manifested that we were going to Justin Timberlake's free concert. And, okay, I want to get this out right now. Okay, this is my friend. I support her. And I'm going to be honest, I am not the biggest Justin Timberlake fan. But, I first of all, I love the Love Stone album. Mm -hmm. And I love NSYNC. So as soon as we saw that NSYNC was there. NSYNC was there. I seen the next morning and I was like, yeah, I was, tr I'm not lying. I was like devastated. Like right? I, was, I was legit sad. I had no idea that like NSYNC was going to be there. And then I see on Instagram and all the celebrities were like, um, oh, who else? I didn't see anybody I else. seen Chrissy Teigen. I oh. seen, um, I don't know why she, I don't know why she bothered. And she, I know there was a couple like verified accounts that I seen that kept both some people I didn't know, but uh, I was just like, oh, no wonder we didn't get tickets. Well, you could pay to be verified now, by the way. I don't know if can you saw you? that. You literally can pay How a much? monthly. I don't know. It's like 20, 20 bucks a month. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> you literally can pay to get a blue That's check. That's so wild. I know. Yep. Twitter, Twitter first started it before Elon Musk bought it. They started doing that. And then it's so funny that Instagram ended up doing it too. So you could see people who literally have a hundred followers have a blue check mark. I'm like, like me. Girl, I'm That's like, weird. I know. Next time you see me, I'm going to have a blue check. <laughs> I'm be like, this bitch is fake as fuck. Get her out of here. Um, and then I think since coming back from Japan, it's just, I feel like so much things are <laughs> happening to me. Like any, <laughs> it's like funny at this point. Like it's starting been a with downhill my, my dog died. <laughs> Literally, like, <laughs> you, two days after Japan, her dog died. And it's like, I'm struggling in so many aspects of my life. I just have shit coming at me from every angle and yeah. i'm just every day i'm like i'm okay <laughs> and then the she's like nothing day, a seltzer can't solve <laughs> oh and i'm just i think i'm surviving but i'm just like i do feel like surviving not thriving yeah i just feel like i'm like <laughs> like climbing the hill and i'm like oh yeah you're but ready I'm for the roller coaster to be over huh? yeah yeah i'm like okay can't get worse 
But okay, now see, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Monday, you we'll, literally we'll see what Monday brings. You literally should I not know. have said that. I know. I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow, and I'm gonna feel better. Yeah, I literally, I told her I was like, "Girl, it's true what they say though. Like when it rains, it pours." Yeah. And I just feel like also too, like sometimes God just wants you to go through it, girl. I'm like, I can't get on a dating app to save my life. Oh well, we'll talk about that. Yeah, later. I I just have so much stuff, and I'm just like. I want to just take a break from life for a minute. If can, I can I go back on vacation, please? Yeah, I'm like, but anyways, I'm here. So it. your yuck is the down, the in sync, and then the fucking downward. They just downward spiral yeah. called life oh. that I've been in right now. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm emotionally overwhelmed. Yeah. But you seem to be doing okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Because you had that shot. That's I'm why. thriving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> um, well, uh, my yuck is... Okay, so we're having this little St. Patrick's uh, Day episode. And my yuck is is that my brother and my family are in Nashville right now mm-hmm. turning up for his 21st birthday. And I was too broke to go. And I just thought that it was so funny because, like, my Nana had hit me up and she was like... I find it to be like a little messed up that you didn't go to your brother's 21st birthday party. And I said, Nana, it's because I just paid $2,000 for him to go to Japan. That was part of his birthday present. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm like. <laughs> hey, she forgot. I'm all. Forgive yeah, her, she, is, she is old and she smokes weed all day, every day. So I'm like, girl. I'm right here. You don't want to talk about me. Girl, <laughs> no. She's next level, girl. She, with her packs of edibles. She carries around a big old purse and all she has is edibles on edibles on edibles. She I'm just like, pops them? Yes. She don't drive, right? Ma'am, she can't even turn her neck. Her hand looks like this from her arthritis. I'm not exaggerating. She can't do shit, girl. Like, she has a hard time wiping her ass. Like, come on. Honestly, you know? she's such a pleasant person, though. She is. I love her. She's very She went pleasant. with us to Laughlin. We had to lift her up on the boat and <laughs> yeah. shit. And she just, like... She, my Nana is the chillest person on this planet. She, oh, yeah. You want my pen? She's yeah, off, she's yeah. She's offering me her pen. She, she offers everyone her pen, edibles. I'm yeah. like, damn. She stays on deck. She, she just... She stays hitting me up about the sesh. Y'all, um, um, maybe I can't talk about the sesh. Yeah. If you know the sesh, if you're then from you Long Beach, sesh. then you, you know, know the sesh. sesh. You know, you know the, the sesh. sesh, yeah. And she, when's the next sesh? And I'm like, mom. You gotta go get the info for her. Yes. But it's so crazy because my Nana is like so chill, so fun, and just like such a chill person. Chill. And then my mom is like the complete opposite of her. Everyone's like, how are you even like mother and daughter? Like, because my nana is just so like whatever. My mom's like high strung, stressed out. Okay. Yeah, my nana's just like I think maybe because like my nana used to be like you know she. I mean, well, first of all, she was born in the forties, but like Golly. the se- the seventies, the seventies took a toll on her, you know. And I think that that just altered her into a hippie state of mind, you know. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. Could be. Sometimes worse. she does get sad and tell about her, uh, the story about like her little sister had got ran over right in front of her by oh, ice cream did truck. Tell me that. And I'm like, Nana, okay, stop hitting the pin. We already know. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> oh, girl. But you know, I asked her. I was like, wait, after she got run over, did you guys at least get free ice cream? And what she said happened? no. She said no. Yeah. Not that being a question. <laughs> Um, just in case you guys are new to this podcast, we support dark humor over here. I would want to know, like, what happened. Yeah, my whole family literally supports dark humor. I'm all literally, that's just how we are. Yeah. I mean, I'm it, just wired that way. Yeah, anyways, my yuck of the week is that they're over there turning up, and honestly, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's way too close to, we just got back from Japan, you know? And yeah. I would have loved to go to Nashville. For I've never sure, been there. Dude. Actually, she was supposed to go too, but obviously... Japan was right here, and I'm like, okay, no, we gotta go to Japan. Yeah, we chose Japan. We'll go to we'll go to Tennessee another day. Oh, absolutely. But my whole thing that really like got under my skin is the fact that we paid total. What did we pay total for our trip to Japan? I mean, I'm still paying on it, by Maybe the way. Like Thanks to Afterpay. Less than thirteen. No, it was not less than thirteen, girl. Because my total is like almost three thousand dollars. Oh, okay, then fifteen. Yeah, I think fifteen. Oh, okay, ma'am. The Maybe. fact that I have no clue. No clue. She's like, <laughs> just pay the payment. Well, I pay two hundred and twenty-five dollars a month. Oh, okay, and I think mine is like one. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, but anyways, what triggered me about that is, is that we paid, let's just say, fifteen hundred. I think it may be a little less than fifteen hundred. It is less. Yeah, it's it less is. than fifteen hundred. But um, let's just say, uh, you know, let's round it up to fifteen hundred, right? And that's rounding it up. And that's also just flights, hotel. Flight and hotel. Yeah, we paid all our excursions were separate and then all our just money we spent. No, but see, I'm not even talking about that. What I was going to say is the flight to Nashville 
five hundred dollars just oh. for the flight. I'm like round trip, but I'm like five hundred dollars to go to Nashville when I'm traveling three thousand miles. Can drive. Like literally, what? you know what's about to be my yuck right now is I just got hot in here. My tits are gonna start sweating. Yep, I'm getting the tit sweat line. I literally like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I was cold and I'm hot. Right, I'm like, yeah. oh, that that shot got me hot, yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. Woo, my titties are sweating, y'all. Don't pay attention to this line right here, okay? It's okay. trailer trash, Tammy over here, girl. <laughs> Dude, you ain't got I'm a like... cotex I could put under my tits? No, <laughs> I got my period, so that'll just make uh, my well, that'll girl, make everything worse. I'm not trying worse. to put a strawberry lemonade cotex underneath my tits, girl. It's... What's your yum of the I week? Don't know. Let's hear some positives. I literally have no idea. I really don't. I know what it is. No, I don't know what it is. Never mind. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Okay, I know what it is. Oh, it was this. It is <laughs> that we found this. We're gonna try them out in intermission, y'all. Okay, they're they're getting cold right now, but we yeah, got we have the happy nicer. that hard iced tea variety pack. It has peach, original, lemon, and blueberry. We've been looking and for that for two her. weeks. For two weeks now, we've been looking for that. We did. We, we, we did try her. the. Um, we tried peach and 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 half and half. Peach and half and half. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan. Um, yeah. But I just, something from a can. But today, as soon as we have our little intermission, I will try it on ice Let's to test out my theory. Because when we first tried this, I was like, it's weird. I'm excited for blueberry, aren't you? I am, but then also it may taste like medicine. We're going to see. We'll see real all. soon. But Wait, yeah. so this is just your yum of the week? No, well, me and guess where we're going? We're going to kill Tony. Remember, I said about tickets, so me and Tim are going. I'm like dragging Tim into all this white humor that I love. He's in the same week. We're gonna go see Shane Gillis and kill Tony. She's my sugar mama. She's just <laughs> taking like, me everywhere. I'm like, I'm sorry. I want to enjoy the event, and I really don't have many options of people to go with. And I just fuck you, I, bitch. So you're saying that if I was not, if there was three if, options, if I would I, be the last. Well, if I'm paying and I want to choose somebody, you're my choice. Mm, now she's saying that to cover her but ass. She was gonna get booted from this podcast. It's in May. So you can be replaced, girl. I have my mom come on here. And we have two two concerts in a week, and I'm pumped. Yeah, literally. I am pumped to watch Kill Tony. That's going to be fun. It's going to be way She had fun. me watch uh, Kill Tony. Um, and yeah, that I, I, okay, that I like better than Shane Gillis. I just, I'm hoping. We're going to both. Well, no, I'm hoping that going to a Shane, Dill Shane Dillis, Shane Gillis show will like, you know. Yeah, especially I'm sure we'll be uh, prepared. We'll be I will be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Happy Dad, can you make Happy make Dad. our yum of no, the week? No, he's not sponsored. Sponsor yeah, for real. Y'all, I personally think that, um, and I've told her this before, every single time that I tag Happy Dad, they watch my story, okay? Yeah. And yeah. I want to say, I allegedly, I think that they are low-key homophobic because the fact that they watch my story and don't even like And they repost it, Everybody's, everybody's story. Yes. Well, no, I see that they repost a lot of girls they and then fighters. Like chicks. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, um, that's funny because the gays are over here supporting you too, bitch. So why don't you repost my shit? Yeah. Also, I have to say too. You have a I've, lot of followers. I've too. tagged um not anymore, girl. That shit's dwindling down. Um, I tagged Taco Bell before. They liked my story, even reacted to it, girl. Um, uh, other damn, who else? Well, I used to be in love with Bud Light. Bud Light has, you know. No way. Yes, that's why I'm like, um, Happy Dad. Who do Happy you think Dad you do are? better? And they they have literally. Well, I'm not gonna say every time I've tagged them, but they've watched my story three times, and I'm like, um. Okay, I got you, boo. You're fake. Yeah, literally. I'm like, oh, because they, well, my profile picture has me with makeup and everything. So they're like, oh, this faggot is drinking yeah, shit. Yeah, but I would be like, <laughs> post it, like, the more the merrier. Well, wouldn't you want the gay community to support you, too? I yeah, because know. gay people, I don't know gay people who drink Happy Dad. Like, I'm right here. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you're an isolated incident. Like, yeah, I know. It's not, I think it's more like a dude thing yeah. or a slut thing. Which is why I like it. I'm a dude <laughs> slut and a gay, so I'm a girl. You're not, I'm not a Do slut. Do better, happy dad. Girl, I'm I'm dry Debbie over here. I have to look at my phone to see what my yum is because clearly it's not rememberable. Um, what is my memorable. yum? Um, you said rememberable. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I make up my own words, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. Not my titties full on sweating right now. You guys are literally... <gasps> Oh, I thought it disappeared. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my yum is... Okay. Oh, I want to talk about this, actually. So, my yum is I am fully... You're fully ma transitioning. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Ma'am. Uh, Y'all, during intermission, is I am... Wet? 
Dude, literally, I have a damn tit sweat oh, my arm right here. Are sweating. What's going but on? I'm lighting it. Hey, that that whiskey got us a little it, hot. It was hot. Whoa. I was cold when we started. I'm a little clammy Remember? now too, bitch. Dude, I'm sweating. I literally what? put that anti pear sprint uh, oh deodorant my. on too. What's going on? Oh my god. I don't ever get hot like that. Like I'm warm right now. I literally just straight up lied to your face. I'm a sweat box, bro. <laughs> I literally just walked down the street. I and I'm sweating. Get hot like that. I'm trying to be a petite little woman. Uh, yeah, you sweat bag. Uh, so my. Yum okay, of the Dallas. week is that. <laughs> Dumb. She opened Pandora's box. <laughs> I love how y'all be asking the question, What's up with Dallas? It's like we've been avoiding that shit. Yeah, I'm like, we nothing. reply to every other comment and then we. We're all, <laughs> I no. reply to hate comments. I reply to all the other ones. Girl, Jelly's a bitch. Why is she so loud and aggressive? Tim's a fag. I'm all, love you. Rainbow. What's up with Dallas? Ignore. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um. Anyway, so my yum of the week is that I'm like fully. Oh my God, I'm about to strip you down right now. I'm like, I'm wearing off. booty shorts too. Uh, she um, wear biker shorts on. Oh yeah, biker shorts. Are What's your yum? Budget. I'm curious. So, um, my yum of the week is that I'm like fully back on my diet and I am thriving and I meal prepped and everything. And mm-hmm. I've said this on my main yeah. channel. So today actually is my sixth day of giving up breakfast, only because I see a lot of people like doing intermittent fasting. And then somebody had commented on my main channel and had said too, like, oh, that's bad advice like never skip breakfast and i was telling her i was like it's so bad funny advice is when the doctor let you, your mom keep you <laughs> no, <laughs> bitch. like bitch get out of here um, oh i thought you were saying it to me <laughs> no i'm telling you the bitch saying telling you oh. to diet yeah i was like it's kind of funny though because people intermittent in, how do you say it, it, how do you say it in intermittent that, intermittent, fashion? intermittent fasting. that sounds weird in that term but um they do that so i'm like and she said that if this is bad and it had a couple likes on it that's well it had two likes on it literally after five minutes of posting so i'm like Meh. clearly people agree with her but i do have to say this people don't know this but a lot of countries that you go to they don't even serve breakfast like going to japan even it's like hard to find a everything breakfast opens spot late. everything opens late people don't really like eat breakfast like that maybe they'll have a snack and in america it's like push for breakfast so First of all, she knows I cooked my breakfast literally every single day of my mm-hmm. life. Like I cook breakfast every day. It's just my routine, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to cut this just to kind of like help me out. Like I don't want to say crash diet, but kind of like I'm trying to get ready for Vegas. Well, I go to Vegas in literally three weeks now. Oui. So, uh, mm, well, we're going to see about that. I'm going. We're gonna, girl, we're going to see about <laughs> yeah, that. I'm going. Girl, I may have gave up your bed. <laughs> To the bed bugs in Las Vegas because they deserve it more than you do. I'm sleeping on the floor. You're sleeping in the bathroom, bitch. Um, No, so I'm like, okay, low key, it's kind of like, you know, helping me out. But then also, I have to say, I don't know why for some reason I've been feeling better. Like, I feel. Listen to your body. Right? I don't feel like I'm not getting headaches or anything. I'm like, oh, okay. You have your coffee still? Yeah, I still have my coffee. Okay. I still have my coffee. But um, I've been drinking black only, though. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I, know, I, I know, but I do put two pumps of my sugar free caramel in it. And it makes it good. Yeah, I like, okay. oh, I like black coffee in general, though. I really do. Black okay. coffee on ice, so good. Um, But yeah, that's my yum. Oh, I meal prepped. I sent her my videos. Yeah, oh, your food looks good. I sent it to my Nana, too. And my Nana literally was like, did you make that? And I said, duh, LOL. It was through text. And then she was like, oh, it looks like it's store bought or you purchased it from a meal prep service. Period. And I was like. Y'all, because I made yeah, salmon, salmon with French green beans. Oh, I got a proof for my EBT. That's why. Hey! <laughs> that's also my yum of the week. <laughs> I officially got a proof for my EBT. So that's why I was like, y'all, we buying organic over here. So I got um one meal, well, several meals, but like one of the meals that I made is um salmon with green beans and potatoes. And also, too, I'm trying to cut down on my sodium. So I use Mrs. Dash uh, seasoning mm-hmm. for like the first time with no salt. And I'm like, no, it's, it's pretty good. good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, that's one meal, and then I did one meal of kind of like um talk. It's my little Mexican style meal. So I did shrimp with um fire roasted jalapeno seasoning with um bell peppers and onions, and then y'all. I was on Facetime with her while I was cooking my rices. So I made cilantro lime rice, but it's not rice; it's cauliflower. Yeah. Win. Mm-hmm. That is. I bought some cauliflower rice today. It's good. Yeah. Did okay, so I made um for my Asian meal. I also did like fried rice with it, so I put an egg in there, soy sauce. It is great. Uh, low sodium soy sauce, by the way. I um that could permanently replace rice for me, mm-hmm. y'all. You can eat a whole bag of it for sixty calories. Yeah, I and was it's like, feeling. yes, yeah. I was like, oh, that and for it the win. Like rice. The texture and everything's the same. Yeah. I'm like, that's it. Yeah, so I love that that's my yum of the week. I'm love that for you. Yeah. Woo! lose my titties do you think that like underneath my titties will still sweat if i don't have titties anymore 
no huh? like your nipple dripping sweat oh that does it all the time i thought that was normal i think that i was probably maybe female at birth <laughs> and then my parents were like butch so it's a boy I don't know. I'm a girl. They fucked you in your <laughs> I know. They put Andy as a girl and then me as the DM. <laughs> um, oh, no. Yeah. So it's about that time in our podcast of like, would you rather? <laughs> oh, I want to have a theme song for that so bad. I know. One day, one day Somebody... our podcast is going to grow. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's go. Love this. Are you going to ask if I'm ready? Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my son this today. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay. Would you rather play with Hello Kiri or would you rather play with <laughs> Stitch? <laughs> I said, um, <laughs> would you rather shit yourself once a week or piss yourself daily, but you never know when it's going to happen? Okay, wait, wait. You said shit once a week. Or piss daily, and you, but you never know when it's going to happen. Shit myself once a week. <laughs> Yeah. That's what you said. I'm all. I'm not gonna do daily. That's just. That's so inconvenient, you know. And then sometimes pee can really smell, you know. I'm like, no. Wait, why are you laughing so? I. I I'm all. I don't know. Because your answer is like shit yourself, but it's like, is that isn't that the lesser evil? I mean, it's just once a week, whatever. Rather than seven, seven times. Imagine you're like that fucking Ralphs. (laughs) Well, we're gonna do a podcast one time of like our most embarrassing stories, and you will hear. That's like me. Been there, done that. In Japan, when I was just on the struggle bus. Oh, we didn't even. I love our Japan episode was so weak. Yeah, like we literally we have so many stories from Japan that we. Dude, my stomach was on the struggle bus. This bitch had to book it. We were gonna like I was all shopping for skincare products (laughs) and she's like, oh my god, oh my god. I was like, I gotta go. She's all (laughs) tapping the damn elevator button because it said downstairs. She's all sitting there in front of it. I was like, okay, girl. I was like starting like to like get you know when you get warm sweats and shit. Yep. And oh. I'm all, I just need my vitamin C serum, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I was like, gotta <laughs> go. Okay, let me go ahead and tell mine. On. Um, okay. This one, um, I had help from the internet. <laughs> Would you rather be on death row for a crime you didn't commit and the most important person? Uh, most important, most sure, important person. The most important. I know what it is. Okay. I've seen this one. You know, you. I know why you've seen it because you know why I Googled unhinged Would You Rathers because I needed. Y'all, you didn't find any of mine. Yes, I did. Which one? I found three of yours. Which I'll ones? go to the website. It's in my history. No, which ones were they? Um, one of them was uh, the first question where you had said that you had... Fuck, I, I have it. I swear to God. Y'all, next week, follow up. No, deadass, because I have the website. Oh, I just well. the website. No, and I was like, wait, why did I see three of yours on this list? So I was like, this bitch, and I'm over here being original, but I needed help this week, only on one. And I was like, okay, let me Google it. Okay, read it to me. Okay, let me just restart yeah, it over, right? Eyes, Anyways, it's from website where she gets her would you rather because she can't think of them on bitch, her own. Bitch, it's where fuck. your mom gets her would you rather. <laughs> My mom don't even know how to go on to Google, bitch. The fuck? Okay, I'm all no. not her being 50 and not even know how to do shit. Would you rather be on death row for a crime you didn't commit and uh, the most important person in your life is free, but they committed the crime? Or would you rather be free, but the most important uh, most important person in your life is on death row for a crime you committed? Okay. It's That's hard, huh? Because you have a son. Because it's my child. Yeah. So I would rather be in prison. That is easy for you. It is I feel like for, for me, me, I'd be like... Girl, let me be free. Whatever. I yeah, but it's different. I think it's different because I have a kid, so I automatically have a most important person. Yeah, and then on top of that, even if inside you, even if you were on a lie detector test right now and we were putting you on blast on this podcast, everyone would be like, you're a piece of shit, mom. <laughs> what? Like if you lied. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But you still have to say it to be, you know, politically correct. I'm not lying. No, I know. I'm just oh. saying, but if you were is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like imagine if we had you hooked up to that damn, do you remember that like, um, what was it that reality TV show where they would hook everyone up to a damn um, so light detector? Messy. Yes, I'm like, imagine you're like, I definitely would cover for my son. He committed Stop a crime, but I, and it's like, that's a that's a lie. Imagine you're detecting nervousness. People would be like, she's a bitch. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Would you rather be very wealthy but extremely unhealthy and obese, and remain that way? Already there. Or be poor, but very healthy with the body you've desired. Obese and rich. 100%, without a doubt. I would choose that in one second. I'm like, bitch, I've lived obese my whole fucking life. I was 300 pounds, okay? 
Like, 300 pounds and poor. So you let me be... that way your whole life. I don't care. Oh, I'll be 300 pounds, girl. People liked me more when I was 300 pounds. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're funnier or what? No, no, no I'm... Like, boys, like, sorry. You not know? the boys. Yes. No, literally on the dating apps, I'm like, because they have fucking fat fetishes. Yeah. That's why I'm like, so I would get... And now I'm in this weird, awkward in-between where I'm like, oh, too fat for this person, too skinny for that person. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. At least then they were like, oh, he's fat as fuck. So we yeah. like that. Love that. Yeah. So I would choose that, whatever. Yeah. Girl, hit me over here trying to be healthy, and I'm still poor on EBT. <laughs> Bro. Anyways, the next one. Would you rather drink a gallon of mayonnaise or... No. Oh, hold on, wait. I got this from the website, too. Okay, okay. so I lied. I said one, y'all. Okay, I just go. realized right now that I got this from the website, mm-hmm. too. This week was my first week that I was struggling, okay? Oh, <laughs> okay. Would you out. rather drink a gallon of mayonnaise or lick a Arizonian bum's asshole for 30 seconds? I change it up, of course. And I specifically say Arizonian bum because y'all in the summer there, it's 100. We went, y'all, during the summer, 120 how degrees. How long do I? 30 seconds, I said, or a no, gallon of mayonnaise. ma'am, that's not an option. I'm seeing how long I have to drink the mayonnaise. It's a gallon. You have to finish the gallon. It's a gallon. <laughs> ma'am, don't act like you just didn't swallow a load two weeks yeah. ago, girl. So you were like, you know, you had a little pint of, of mayonnaise. No, I haven't swallowed it. I'm in a long time. I swear to God. I <laughs> not her being all serious. I'm all hey, cracking hey, a joke over um, here. I'm not licking a wet bum, let alone anybody. Ew, I just think of the asshole. smell of a bum, like especially from Arizona, girl, mm-hmm. where it's so I'll hot. Eat, I'll figure out how to eat the mayonnaise. Really? I have to be honest. I thought about what I would say on this, but mayonnaise triggers me so hardcore. Like, I I hate mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, stop. Stop, bitch. You're you literally going to make me throw up on this. You know how I get. This bitch is so dramatic. Every little thing that, like, she'll be like, I, and then it yeah, makes me do it too. I'm yeah. like, stop. Yeah, I can't. Fuck. That's nasty. I honestly would have to go with the bums, asshole. I literally would. Oh, 30 seconds. I'll just hold You're my right. breath. I'll hold my breath. And we- <laughs> Your face. I swear, because I, I can't. I'll throw up if yeah, I that- do the mayonnaise. To be honest with you, if it was a spoonful of mayonnaise, I would throw yeah, up. If it was like this much mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. I'm like, can I, I hate get mayonnaise. a side of bread? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I hate mayonnaise, but I love macaroni salad and I love potato salad. Yeah, so. man. But other than that, I don't... I get it. Yeah. But 30 seconds isn't that long, I guess. And I think that you could hold your breath for at least 20 seconds. Oh, right? yeah. You put, I put a clothespin yes, on the Yes, exactly. Put a clothespin and just... Woo! Hit nut. Oh. <laughs> Imagine the smell of that. Okay, my last one, I just... <laughs> I'm just so curious. Okay, well... Would you rather... Are you ready? I'm ready. Become your mom or your dad for the day? Oh, my mom. <laughs> my mom has it made, girl. The bitch just yeah. does for nothing. Day, gets I'm just, like, out of curiosity. Like, you know. My mom gets whatever she wants. So I would tell my dad, like, oh, I want X, Y, and Z, and then my dad's going to do it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, your mom does have the life. Literally, I'm like, damn, can, can my dad give me something? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> my dad's that type of person, though, and I'm being so serious that, like, I'm sure you guys have seen before celebrities will be like, I'm not leaving anything to my kids. They need to make it on their own. That's my dad. Like, figure it the fuck out on your own, whatever. He he could have $500 million in the bank. I'm not giving them shit. I'm going to leave this to the damn Taco Bell workers. I'm like, really? oh, okay, thanks. Could you imagine? <laughs> Girl. Please. Anyway, well, my dad's the the whitey, so I just feel like, no offense, but I feel like maybe white people are a little bit more, you know, uptight. I don't know. Mm. Well, not that my mom's giving, you know what I mean? If I take a piece of her cheese, the bitch will cuss me out. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last one. Oh, would you rather eat vomit from a wee-ho alley or puke in your mouth every time someone said your name? Eat the vomit. It'd be one time. Either way, I'm <gasps> eating, eating vomit. Yeah. It'd just be one time. Yeah. I tell people that I had a different name. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not my name. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. All right, that wraps it up for our Would You Rathers of the <laughs> Week. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the hot topics. First, I want to talk about Gypsy Rose, y'all. Yeah. Gypsy Rose decided to give up social media, and I want to say this is a bizarre turn of events. I will read the statement. And the reason why I say that is because she blew up instantly. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everyone knew that she would, right? But the amount of brand deals that she can get, sponsorships, just like if she created a YouTube channel. You think so? Brand deals? 100%. 100%. They wouldn't be scared of the cancel? 
No, I don't think so. Mm. I'm like, girl, James Charles is out here getting brand deals. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah, I feel like with her, True. they'd be like, okay, she did her time, whatever. And then honestly, let's keep it real too. How many other people have been incarcerated and come out of jail and then like, you know, get brand deals? You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. Um, OJ Simpson wrote a book, girl. I mean, and that book was selling. Yeah. So she came out and did that. And I'm saying like, damn, you literally just chopped your earnings right there because you could make money this is what she had said gypsy rose or this is what the headline says sorry gypsy rose blanchard apologizes for her lack of accountability while announcing she will delete her social media accounts this is the quote right here i'm sorry i'm learning i take accountability for my part and i'm saying this right now i'm taking account of wait oh wait <gasps> this is the wrong thing oh my gosh no <gasps> i screenshotted the wrong thing the wrong headline y'all i am so stupid earlier i was like oh my gosh i forgot to like screenshot oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here okay, it goes. Okay. Sorry, like, guys. We're back. Even, hold on. What is it? Is it oh. It's the same picture, too. It is. Yeah. I'm confused. No, it's not. It's not actually. But it's look, that was seven hours ago. And then this is 10 hours ago. Anyway, sorry. This is what it says right here. Gypsy Rose Blanchard announces she has permanently deleted her Instagram and TikTok accounts. And then this is the quote right here. Real life is something you can touch, something you can feel, people you can actually hug. With the public scrutiny as bad as it is, I just don't want to live my life under a microscope. And she permanently deleted her shit. So not just uh, like uh, deactivated, deleted the app. She permanently deleted it. I'm like, I find that to be shocking only because, like, she got, like, 7 million followers within She had a lot of supporters, weeks. so maybe the, the, the antis were just too much for her. Yeah. You know, maybe she read the comments. Oh, I'm sure. But see, that's, that's the thing when it comes... When you get blasted to that level, just don't read the comments. Then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... Like, you done corroborated your mom's m murder. <laughs> like, don't read the fucking comments. I know. But you know what? It has to, like, suck to live with that for the rest of your life. Do you know what I mean? And then have to be announced every day. But I recently... Well, I always talk about this, like, on my main channel when I do drama videos about people who have made mistakes in the past. And what my best life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all viral. But my whole thing is, when does society let go of what somebody fucked Never. up on the past. Never. I know. What are you I talking just, about? I'm I'm not saying obviously we've we already talked about this fully in depth, Gypsy Rose on this channel, but I just feel like at some point, like, okay, no. it is what it is. And if there's nothing that they have on you, they're gonna dig for stuff on you. That's the society like I recently talked about Jeffree Star and I'm like, okay, so he's made a bunch of offensive jokes and all this shit. And I'm like, we have all made offensive jokes. We have all said some fucked up shit. We have all said things that we regret. And I'm like, how does society and the internet in general, it's like every two years or every year, let's bring it back up. Let's bring it back up. Yeah. It's like, damn, yeah. let it go. My whole thing, and I honestly want to scream it from the rooftops, is Everyone on the internet acts holier than thou. They fucking think that they have never made a mistake. All these keyboard warriors talking shit, they <laughs> genuinely think in their head they have done nothing wrong. I'm like, you are the number one narcissist in the fucking yeah. world because us regular people can sit here and say, I've said something fucked I'm up. I'm human. Yes, I'm like, we have all said some fucked up shit. Yeah. It's just in our nature. In us, especially like growing up in the 90s and people who grew up even before that, like, there's so many words that you didn't know were. Yo, I grew up. I love I, the R word. I would. Did you, <laughs> took that out? you took that out of my mouth. I was just gonna say we grew up when Fergie was, or not, was it Fergie in the Black Eyed Peas? Let's get. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I'm like we we <laughs> no, grew up with that. Yeah. Yeah. And they, now they change it, or they change it after that. The let's get it started in here. Mm -hmm. And the original was R word. I'm like we grew up with that being totally normal. That wasn't offensive. And I didn't. I don't want to start that. Yeah, I but just... But my whole thing yeah. is saying is, like, you know, obviously time change. Do you know what I was thinking the other day is that, like, um, do you remember at one point in, like, history, like, oh, it was a, a offensive to say, like, say, for example, a black person. You would say African-American. And then it took a turn to where, like, African-Americans offensive because not all black people are African-American, right? Or are African of African descent, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so that took a turn. What if one day in the future, everyone who says that they're non-binary, let's say a hundred years down the road, it's going to be offensive to say non-binary. And it let's will. Say, dude, and let's just say gay. Gay is the acceptable term. And then eventually that's going to be offensive to say. It's like, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Right? You can yeah, see it all absolutely. like changing and being. So I'm just like, I'm sorry. But when it comes down to the internet, people get on my fucking nerves because we have all fucked up. We've all fucked. And I think that everyone is allowed to grow. Even if, say, for example, like I watch so many true crime things and i think that there are like even people who have like made a mistake that they regret like there's a lot of gangsters literally who have yeah. 
done some drive-bys and they're in jail for life mm -hmm. and they're like i fucked up and like, then they don't, people don't can't step back to realize like the environment they grew up in they yeah. didn't have nobody they adapted to these people because they were family they this was their family yep. like people don't realize like your childhood forms most of your adulthood yep. and it's like who can, yes we know better you don't shoot people yeah but it's like if you're around all these people and they're all doing it and they're your family and they're the only ones looking out for you you think it's normal yeah you, and you're like this is what i have to do yes, you know and it's just like I just, I don't know. I just think that everybody deserves, you know, room to grow and actually change. And I do think that it is unfortunate. Like, say, for example, if I said something that was offensive two years ago and I genuinely changed, why don't I deserve that time and, and room to grow? Like, why don't it's I deserve that? It's the people that? bringing it up that don't realize that you're allowed to change because they're not fucking changing. Yeah. They're static and static water just being whoever the fuck they are. Like, I don't like that shit. I'm, I'm sorry. We always... I, there's always room for change. Our appearance, our mood, our mindset, our yeah. thoughts, our stances on shit. I just think that nobody should be held accountable to, to things that they did 10 years ago. or Especially you know. if it's not repeated behaviors. That's what I was going to say. It's an isolated yeah. event. Um, by the way, what are we, what are we, just to clarify here, we're not specifically talking about know, Gypsy you Rose. You shit about me. Oh, I thought <laughs> no, you were saying about us. No, 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 no. I was saying because I don't want it to come across as and we're like, oh, oh no, we're just defending Gypsy, Gypsy Rose oh, like no, that. Oh, no, we just started ranting. Yeah. Also, speaking of which, um, Gypsy is an offensive term, and that's her fucking name. Love that. So, yeah, people say that Gypsy is an offensive term. I'm like, oh. Imagine. Yeah, okay. Well, that's her name. I don't know. G and then it's like, you know what really gets me? What? You can't say midget. You have to say little person. And I'm like, isn't little person more offensive? offensive? Yeah. Or or once upon a time it was dwarf. Why can't you say midget? I thought midget Isn't was Isn't that a medical term? Well, we we grew up with midget actually being the correct term. That's when what I'm saying. Up. Where at what point it, did Dr. So and so come in and say you can't Dr. Cancel? I don't come fucking and know. say you can't I don't know. I'm like, I didn't know that was like rude. I didn't, yeah. I don't see too many, I'm going to be honest, I don't see too many people bitching about that. I thought that. you were going to say I don't see too many midges. No, I no, no. say low-key me either. <laughs> no, yeah, we just saw one. Oh, no, that was with Rosa, sorry. No. I was at Costco, yeah. Um, he was pushing the cart? No, 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 it was a worker checking the Costco carts. Or the receipt, sorry. Um, What'd you do? You were just like... <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't hear <laughs> No, I was going to say, I don't see too many people getting that offended over that, though. Maybe I'm but wrong. But it is. No, but I've heard that that's, like, I've heard bad, it. bad. I, I've whatever. heard it, too, but I don't I don't see people up in arms over it's that, just, mm, you know. There's but, probably a whole community out there. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. Let the midgets tell me what they want to be called. Well, I was going to tell you, nine times out of ten, it's people on the internet just creating this shit. I'm like, man, you're 5'4". You don't have an opinion on this. Like... Oh, I was gonna say I was like you're like five four. That's what, what I'm you? saying. Like oh. if you're like normal height, like, yeah, why shut is up. your opinion on this? Well, because they're That's great. That's like me saying uh, something a gay term is offensive. I'm not gay. What were you gonna say? I heard that. <laughs> uh, fruit I heard cake. A fruit cake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like if if it doesn't impact me. And well, no, but people will sit there and say, well, actually, my great grandpa had a cousin whose cousin was married to somebody who yeah. lived next door to a person that lived next door to a person that was a little person. So Allegedly. I have I have a right to yeah. talk about it. You know, person. it's like, girl, no, I'm sorry. I like a Wizard of Oz. So I am in fact impacted by this. Yeah, bro. You yeah, know, what's so funny. It, we, we've talked about this before. And I genuinely, if anybody's my friend, this is me. And this is why I always say I don't speak for the gay community, okay? Yeah. I am no... You don't. I am no person on... Yes, yeah. absolutely not. Because I would, if I was a celebrity... I chose this rainbow. I would... You didn't even want me to bring it here. Literally. <laughs> you brought a little person rainbow. <laughs> like, I, like, damn. My whole thing is, and I, I don't care. Cancel me all you want. I literally don't give a fuck. But all my friends around me, I'm like, it doesn't. If you say faggot, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. You can literally call I me that. I never say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna lie on this podcast, girl. We lying like a Persian rig. No, my whole thing, and that's why I say I don't speak for the community. You know what I mean? Because, oh yeah, like I would never. Well, my Tim said I can. Say yes, it. Like, exactly. I'm going in a new gay and say. Well, it. there's several black people out there too that literally say like, "Oh, you can say that around me." You know what I mean? Not no one told me that, girl. <laughs> I'm like, don't don't try it with me, girl. Don't try it with me. But no, there are people out there that say that, and I'm I'm the person in the gay community that's like, oh, that doesn't bother but me. But then we already talked about this the other day. One thing I just can't handle people who look for a, to be offended. They go, they start their morning 
with a shit and they walk out the door just looking to be offended. Yeah, see, that's not me. I can't handle those people. Those are those are people I can't handle. I think that I'm just so fucking delusional that if I'm walking down the street and somebody's like, fuck you, faggot, I'm like, <laughs> thank you. You're, oh, you can tell. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're in a room. You're not like that bitch from Vegas. <laughs> I just, yeah. Uh, I saw somebody comment about that, about the whole what Vegas situation when I was talking about how that girl f- was trying to swear up and down that I was straight. And then I was like, bitch, can't you tell? You were, you were, I think you were talking or something. Or you didn't pay attention to it or something. I don't know. And I was like, bitch, I'm clearly gay. Have you seen my eyebrows? And somebody had put the you quote. You know what's funny? No, what's I don't. the quote? I just said. Oh, I went to my old job, right, at the post office. Uh-huh. And I'm showing my co- my, my uh, coworker I worked with a long time was an older uh, Vietnamese lady. So I'm showing her Japan, and she's scrolling through my phone. She's like, you went with a boy? And I was like, I went with my friend. Like, she's fucking with me. And she found a picture of us, and she was like, who's this? And I was like, he's gay. And she was like, who is this? And then another, my Filipino old coworker comes through. She's like, look at his eyebrows. <laughs> She literally said, and she was old too. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I'm so sorry if anybody tries to question my straightness, bitch. I'm sorry. I don't I'm see like, straight men yeah, with these brows. I'm like, eyebrows better than any female I know. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's why I'm like, read a room, bitch. Yeah, with your little look at a brow, little hoop piercings. Like. Oh, well, when we went to Vegas, though, I didn't have. I just have my pl- my plugs have been there since I was mm-hmm. a kid. So these are with me for life. Yeah. Anyways, um, that yeah, that's we, funny, huh? We got off on a <laughs> fucking tangent there. Yeah, we did. Um, anyways. Let's go ahead and move on to the next hot topic. I feel like, Loki, this next topic could be... I haven't even talked to you once about this, so maybe you're not too educated on it. Neither am I. Um, I feel like this could have been a whole fucking podcast episode because I am so deeply involved. Um, what's the word that I'm looking invested. for? Invested. Fascinated by this whole Kate Middleton situation. Have you been catching up with that at all? I just know that she's missing and they made I- AI pictures of her. Or like an old picture and like edit it on top of it, right? But my whole thing is, is like, dude. But didn't they finally see her? No, there's like a whole rabbit hole of it because people are saying that, oh, she was driving in an Audi with her mom or whatever. And they're saying that that's edited too because if you look at the picture closely, the fucking car has like six tires on it on one side. Audis don't have no fucking six tires, you know? So it's what like. Did, okay, what's the theory of why she's missing? So everyone is trying to say that they're going through a divorce and they're trying to keep it under wraps. But apparently she like like ran away from this shit because apparently homeboy. What's his name? Harry? Is it Harry? No, no clue. Girl, I don't give a fuck about the Royals. They can kiss my Don't ass. even know where they're from. England? Are you serious right United, now? United Kingdom? I don't know. Bitch. Yes, from England. Okay, that's well, what I assume. You, you know. That's what I assume. Yeah, but I'm like, wait, you didn't know that? I assume that. That's about all I know about the Royals. No, but honestly, no, this whole story. But I do have to say, like, I get really deep inside the, like, Princess Diana conspiracies and everything like that. Because I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And I will fight on this. That was an inside job. She didn't just die in a car accident. That shit was like planned. If you look at the whole everything, I'm like, no. I feel like a lot of uh, celebrity murders, like we can like. That's what I think too. People honestly, don't, people don't. That's like, was it me and you talking about the Boeing? Um, and the guy who committed. Well, we briefly talked about and that. And you were like, he didn't? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. That was like, yesterday. They asked him. Ma'am, definitely. 100%. And then I'm like, why can't, I'm like scared to fly now. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Anyways, the Kate Middleton situation, basically. So she has been missing for a while. They try to say that she had abdominal surgery in December. She hasn't been seen since. And then as soon as this picture had came out, there was so many... Everyone pointed out everything. And it made sense when you looked at it? What is? Oh, ma'am, I zoomed in on it, too. I was like, this is edited. Oh, okay. 100%. Okay. 100%. Wow. There are so many flaws within that photo. And then they had released a statement on her behalf because Kate Middleton supposedly had said, oh, I did make some alterations. I was playing around with editing. I literally just spit everywhere. She did not say they did not. She put did, it out there. but then everyone had pointed, and my immediate reaction was, "This is not a normal person messing around with editing. A normal person would not mess around with editing as far as like um face tune, yeah, like or make face, your face app, look better. yes, right, or smooth like smooth your skin, smooth out. skin, right. These were changes of the damn picture that you can clearly see. So everyone's like, um, no, this was a horrible job done by a photo editor. So I'm like, no, there is something up here. The conspiracy is though is that they're getting a divorce and like they're trying to or something? 
in their culture, I think it is like it's from well, not their culture, sorry, but like their their statue for them being the being royals. And stuff, well, yeah. that's why a lot of people go into the Princess Diana situation because Princess Diana and then whoever who the fuck was it? I, is he also Harry? I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> they cheated on each other, you know, and then she went off to be a fucking humanitarian and like started doing all these great things, and they didn't like that she was an open book. They didn't like that she's an open book. Like she knew too much information, so they were like, "Oh no, we gotta." And that's Harry's mom. Uh, yeah. Well, the prince now. If that, that was his mom. Yeah. And then a lot of people, too, speculate that's why the family, Meghan Markle, and then the other one, what's his name? The redhead. Yeah. Don't know his name. Oh, dude, I don't know his name but either. But Meghan Markle. I, mean, I know Meghan Markle. Is... Don't know um his name. David? I feel like no, it's no, David. No, it's not. It's not. It's not? No. Fuck. Um, anyways, I'm just so invested in this, y'all, because I want to know what's going to be the actual outcome. Like, it's dude, dude, I was going to say, I'm like, if you guys watch these, we've been like stuck on these damn shows, like The Stranger. Um, what's the other one that we were into? They're like British. Um, yeah, they're British. God, stay close. You stay close. Um, on Netflix. There's, oh, I forgot is there that. one called Enough? I, no, I don't remember what the guy's name was, the the, the writer. It's based on the oh, novels. Oh, damn, he writes all the novels. You're right. Oh, and my God. It's, well, We've for watched... sure, look at um Stranger and Stay Close on Netflix. You yeah. see the, the guy who wrote the book. And it's based out of, like, England, right? England, and they're all, yeah. like, filmed in England. But I'm, like, they're always, like, eight episodes, but they're so good. They're so good. They are so good. And they're always, like, surrounded by murder. St- the Stranger's great. Yeah, that yeah, was a good one. Yeah, love that. So my whole thing is, is like, okay, so what's the outcome? Of, like, is she dead? Like, what is what's going on here? And because my whole thing is like, okay, if like if she's cheating or he's cheating or they're breaking up, like, what the fuck ever? Who cares? Like, I don't know. Yeah. You know what's so crazy is just how I was reading about while we were in Japan. Like, the emperor of Japan has no political power, and I have read before same thing over the royals. They have no political power. So I'm like whatever like yeah. they literally just have their status just because that's you know been the way of for centuries so i don't know i'm just interested in it well okay let me be honest i'm just interested in knowing the outcome like yeah. what is gonna come up like is she gonna make a speech is she gonna do a podcast like, is she gonna be on joe rogan selfie, yeah. girl is she gonna start she's an only on fans love that she's gonna spread the royal puss i don't <laughs> She's gonna roll out the red carpet. Girl, right? she a girl. Well, her son rolls out the red carpet to oh, Meghan Markle every God. night, girl. <laughs> I'm all I I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on here. If you guys have your um conspiracies about that, let us know. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about briefly too is that um Cardi B had like posted in this damn like little story thing that she says that women and men should split the bills 50 50. What do you think about that? She's a goddamn liar. She literally said that. She's a fucking liar. Well, now that she's a millionaire, she can say that. That bitch didn't feel that way back in the day. I low-key was thinking that too, right? Yeah, now, if I was a millionaire, I mean... Well, because when you have as much money as her, her net worth is $80 million. Yeah, Cardi B, she's got it good, but she's full of shit. Like, okay, maybe, yeah, you should split the bill, but as regular bitches? Yeah. No. uh, And I'm not against... If I'm in a relationship, that doesn't what I'm talking about. But if I'm out here dating fools... I'm not paying for dinner. Like, you're so confused. Yeah. Well, and also on top of that, too, I feel like it, like, sets the tone of, like, how your relationship is going yeah. to be. Like, girl, would you really want to be with especially somebody? Especially on a first date. And especially, it, uh, but but for me, for me, mostly, it's who who want, who asked for the date. And, I mean, I've never met a bitch who asked a guy out, but, I mean, I would Oh, I have. I've, I've, I've known quite a few girls who but, asked for the date. And if he wants date. to, but then I'm like, you can't But, hold on. I, ha- I have to say this in that regard. I do think sometimes a female could ask a man out because maybe they're like, I know that he likes me, but he's just too shy. Like, yeah. he's too shy to say. So, I'm like, if you have that feeling, girl, go for it. I don't see anything it. wrong with it. I, I still think the man should I pay. Do I don't think that I would do it, but I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um. You know what? I just, I don't know. I, I, okay, obviously I'm not a woman, but I can put myself in a woman's position and I just don't think that, okay, here's my thing. If the man is going to be doing 50% of the responsibilities, if you guys have kids and they're sitting over there changing diapers, staying up, if they're cooking, cleaning, if they're doing all of those things too, then okay, cool. Then you guys are equals in the household and it's basically like a same sex relationship. Okay, cool. But I'm telling you, I've seen it be like several times where a woman will work full time and they're expected to cook, all clean, women take work care of the- full time now. Well, well, yeah, pretty, a lot, a of women lot, women yeah, work not full all, time yeah. now. A lot do, but what I'm saying is things get really fucked up. Is when the man expects you to work full time, cook, clean, and do all that. It's like, 
And you want me to pay half the bills? Yeah. So I'm doing all this, and you want me to pay half the bills. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, mm, so you better be doing half the work then. Yeah. No, but not on first dates. I'm not. I'm not. No, gonna... she's saying the bills. Like, I think she means. Oh, like, the bills? Yeah, she didn't say the bill. She said oh. split bills 50-50. If I live in a home, if I live in a home, like. A home. A home. I mean, I'll pay bills, but also, like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, like. I don't know the word. It's just like I want a man to be able to bring me more than I can bring myself. Yeah. For me to deal with your shit. Yeah. Because you can be awesome, but you're still going to have to deal with their shit. Well, bitch, you're a lot to deal with, too. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you kidding? Yeah, I might go to work. I bring a paycheck home, and I bring this pussy home. Oh. <laughs> girl, you bring yesterday's pussy home, girl. You bring that fucking Planet, F- Planet Fitness pussy home. <laughs> Smelling like gym socks and shit, girl. What the fuck? Um, anyways, moving on to the next topic. I just thought this was so fucking random. This mm. was on TMZ. It says a man was arrested after masturbating to Kristen Stewart's new movie. I think, okay, I don't know jack diddly shit about this new movie, but she looks like a lesbian in it. Is Kristen Stewart a lesbian in real life? I think so. Right? I think she is, because she's giving me real butch vibes these days. I think she is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know what this movie was, but I I saw... I can eat a mean pussy. Well, she can try my ass out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, I just was like... um... Oh, speaking of getting your ass ate... Would you let a girl eat your ass? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would. Speaking of getting your ass ate, if you guys go to Japan... (laughs) Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm like, what did you do? Oh, you did the same thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on that motherfucking toilet and put that shit oh, on. It's like pulsing. Oscillate. Put put the oh bidet on. Put it on oscillate and then put the pressure to high. <laughs> yeah. I was like, she's all FaceTime me. I was like, like this, bouncing. <laughs> yeah. I'm all sitting there on it no, like, whoa. For real. For real. <laughs> there are little bidets over there in Japan be putting in work. Yeah. I said, damn, you better than my ex. And cream pie all over the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if y'all go to Japan, sit on that toilet. Honestly. Damn. Just... And then for the girls, they have a front one and a back yeah. one. I was like, I told her, I was like, girl, I bet you put on the front and the rear. <laughs> huh? Both on Same oscillate. Time. <laughs> I'm all, we're neighbors in the hotel and I hear, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> my legs are shaking. <laughs> Oh fuck oh, that yeah. oscillate girl. Um Love oh that. my gosh. Okay, wait. Uh two more topics. So two more topics before we take a little break. Bad baby gave birth to her first baby. To her little bad baby. To her little bad baby. Um hot take right here. This is this should have been a hot, hot take. It's going to be a bad baby. Uh no, I don't know about that. Well, maybe. I don't know. You you never know. Um my hot take is and I know everyone's going to cancel me for this cuz everyone don't She like didn't her. pass my test. That you need to pass before you get knocked up. What was your, I, I know, okay, I know your test, but what didn't she pass? She was fighting with her man in Beverly Hills in a restaurant. Oh, I forgot all about that. We she didn't talk was, about that. This was like two weeks ago. Right before she gave birth, she, yeah. So she's visibly nine months pregnant. That restaurant that she was fighting at was down the street from WeHo. Exactly. Down the and street from WeHo. And she was fighting, like, causing a scene. Yeah. And I'm like, the fact that you can't control, because it's like, I would be in a restaurant and you could literally, like, I could catch you cheating and I'm going to be like, Oh, bitch. I'm not gonna but embarrass I, myself. I would walk outside before I got crazy. Like I would, I wouldn't like That's cause embarrassing. a scene in the restaurant because you just, look dumb. Yeah. So, so the fact that you're so like emotionally unintelligent that you can't control yourself to fight in like this uppity ass restaurant. Yeah. And you're pregnant as fuck. Yeah. Like you're screaming and shit. Like. Yeah. Girl. Well, nonetheless. I was going to say, my hot take is, I think that she's a pretty decent rapper. Okay, I'm sorry. Shoot she's me. hot too. I mean, she's pretty. In her face. I just, well, whatever. I just think she's okay. But, like. I think she's pretty. Oh. I just, I don't know. You for do se- like her. Go bestie. That's my bestie. Yeah, and then uh, like Gucci says. flip blocks. I was yeah. like, okay, I don't know if it's just me. I'm just tripping. But I'm like, Loki, she kind of has, She's like, like sexy red, but not gross. I'm sorry, but sexy red. It's I'm gross. I'm so hot take. Sexy, like she's she's fun, but she grosses me the fuck out. I'm like, you are. Uh, when she talks about, did you hear her talking about her lip gloss colors? No, I, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You're talking about passing a pregnancy test. Did you see at her fucking baby shower she was bent over while her man is fucking face deep into her ass cheeks? Did you not see that? No, I didn't. I was like, but oh, her man was in jail. my god. Well, this is the new man. I think that's the old oh, man. Oh, she has a different baby daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, ma'am, how did you? How she get pregnant if her man's in jail? 
don't know. Do you think oh. she had conjugal visits? Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, they probably but, weren't married. Dude, I'm surprised you didn't see the picture. Everyone was talking about it. I, I was like, I didn't see that. Dude, she is bent over. She's like, first of all, you're like, she's like wearing a thong. Like a thong. Yes. Yes. And I'm like, this is her baby shower. I'm like. But you- even if you weren't pregnant and this is a party, like your face, man's facing your asshole in front of like. Well, but if it was like a sex toy party, because I've been to sex toy parties. And I'm that like, yeah. is like the I'm one like, exception. Okay. Bro. Yeah. Because I'm like, that's fun. But you your know what baby I mean? shower. Dude? Baby shower. It's I'm like, so whoa. Gross. Or how she had it right when she had the baby, she was late, bent over with her hand over her coochie yes. in the hospital bed. Yeah, if you guys have not and seen I'm those. And I'm just like, girl, that shit's all f- sore. Uh, like, what are you doing? It's all gaping and shit. Yeah, literally, like, your shit uh, is not cute. Placenta's still on there. Literally, uh, I'm like, ma'am, you have placenta on your they, labia. Like, you put your hand there, it's warm. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. And you know what's so funny is, you know, damn gonna while I love her on that Drake song. And, you know, damn gonna while I love Pound Town. But I'm just like, she grosses me the fuck out. Well, her lipstick color, her lip oh, yeah, yeah, colors sorry. were, um, one of them was called Nut. <laughs> one of them was called, one of them was called Pussy Juice. These were literal lip glosses. Oh, I believe it, sold. girl. I believe it. Um... Um, one of them was called gonorrhea or no, either gonorrhea or chlamydia. And it was green. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, and I'm fuck. just like, dude, I'm nasty. I talk about sex and fucking. And oh man, kids, we're nasty as but fuck. But I'm not disgusting. Like yeah. I would never be in front of a guy and be like, oh, like pussy green, like, or something like it's not cute. Bend and that I'm ass over. Let that there. gonorrhea drip. <laughs> Even like even that, I was like, okay, let that Gucci breathe. Like she's crazy. <laughs> I it like goes, that song, it goes. Oh, that's a gr- man. It's that's a great, a great song. It's a great song. But it's just kind of like, girl, I'm so sorry. You ain't gotta be like the. You don't. You, know? you can be nasty, like say coochie and eat me and all them nasty. Like making this song is nasty, but she's not gross. Well, and then also the just the pictures and everything that. Sexy yes, it's just stuff. like. Girl. No, but then honestly though, like just the things though that Sexy Red says in all of her songs, I'm like. Yeah, when she talks about like STDs and stuff, like yeah. it's cute. And I'm like, girl, like we all get them, but it's like we don't all get them, girl. I, mean, I ain't never had one. I would one. never shame somebody for getting no, it. No, because bitch, you could be a virgin in your first you time. You fuck one yeah. person yeah. and you get something. So I wouldn't. But why are you rapping people, about it? But I wouldn't be like yeah. bragging about it. Like I wouldn't. She's like, like, I'm over here collecting them all like they're Pokemon cards. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, she's just next level. But hold on. How the fuck did we get on topic of Sexy Red? Bad baby. <laughs> oh, bad baby. Yeah, because she didn't pass your test. Oh, but I Both was wondering what she, what's up with her baby. I'm like, I want to see it. What's I know. Is? Well, was it a girl or what? It was I a girl. I don't know. Don't, don't know. remember. I don't follow her like that. Yeah. My mom gets triggered by her because my mom thinks that she was the original bad baby. And I said, bitch, you were never famous. My mom's claim to fame is that she fucking stole my dad a fucking cologne from CVS. And they took a picture of the bitch and hung it up on the wall. And, and what said, city? don't let this fucking ratchet bitch. In San Pedro, bitch, where the fuck do you think? No, right there, that's CVS. I know what CVS it was. <laughs> Lip, yeah, on Gaffy, bitch. Yeah. And that was in fucking, like, uh, 1984. Like, uh, no, it was probably, like, 1988. I'm, well, my, she mom, didn't steal my mom it was 10. She, she got caught. She, yeah, she got caught. She yeah. got caught. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was like, you fucking ghetto ass bitch. That's my mom for you. It's her accomplishment in life. And it's so funny because my dad used to always say like, oh, you can take the girl out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the girl because this bitch still over here living in a better neighborhood and still ghetto as fuck. Trying to fight everyone. Modern yeah. cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. New Dude. cars have modern, modern technology, technology, bitch. bitch. <laughs> the that was one of the first things she's ever said in the car when I was in the car when I first met her. Yeah, I'm like, my mom is fucking unhinged, y'all. If you guys ever question why I am the way I am, yeah. so fucking ghetto, it's because of her. Yeah. But my mom did grow up in a girl. In quite an environment, huh? She probably grew up worse than fucking Sexy Red. Like, I wonder what Sexy Red's upbringing is because my mom grew up in she, that. I think she talked about it before on Theo Vaughn. And I think um, she would talk about school, how she was popular in school, and she had friends, and... Like oh she went to school, my mom <laughs> she, didn't even go to school. No yeah she like she would talk and then she would I think she did hair or something in high school and that's how she got popular mm. or something. But I heard her and she seemed to have like she was just raised in like where's she from Michigan Detroit. I, I have not one single clue. She's from St Louis St Louis. Uh, it's heavy on them right is that a song? Heavy on it is the producer. But it doesn't the one song with Cardi B I mean with Nicki Minaj. I don't know. No. Oh, anyways. It, yeah, I'm like, whenever they say heavy on it, though, that's the producer. Oh, but sometimes I, I think I hear um, Nicki Minaj saying that. That's the producer. Oh. Yeah. But it's the song where she's like. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. St. Louis. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She does say St. Louis, yeah. But no, Heavy On It, though, is the producer, yeah. Nicki Minaj always says, I think that he produces a lot of... Um... Oh, then I think she is from St. Louis. Yeah. Cause she, and then she says, t- um, when Drake says, uh, at a red, like I'm at a Cincinnati game. Yes, then, uh-huh. Yeah. Wait, oh, Cincinnati is... St. Louis. Okay, never, never mind. Let's yeah. not talk about it, girl. Yeah, I'm a, we're in a, I've never been there. I don't know anything about it, yeah, girl. Yeah, never mind. I'm actually making. St. Up Louis is in Missouri. I know that. Yeah, it's not Cincinnati's Cincinnati. in Ohio. Okay. Yeah, so never mind. <laughs> never mind. Let's change the topic because we're looking fucking dumb. Okay, <laughs> girl. I'm a high school dropout. This bitch is in college. So if you guys ever want anything factually correct. Ask her. She is going to college. She Man. graduated. I'm a fucking high school dropout Chad living GBT on EBT. Is getting me through co- I have a four EBT is getting me through life and Chad GBT is getting, getting me through, through college. Okay. <laughs> okay. The last topic that I do want to talk about that I don't know if you're like aware, but I just had to talk about this. I know that we haven't really talked much about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but I just have to talk about it. Because Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is my favorite season to watch. Is Although, it? Yes. Oh, not season. Why? Sorry. I don't know how to say it. My favorite city to watch of Why? the Real Housewives. I think because it was the very first okay. Real Housewives I've ever watched. And I just, I didn't watch for maybe about four seasons. And then I jumped back into it as soon as Erica Jane got all of her, like, um, yeah. drama. And then I've been watching since. Um, but I just thought it to be so shocking that the final part of the reunion had came out. And Mauricio... What I specifically wanted to talk about, okay, so her man that she, you know, Mauricio Mm -hmm. and her, right? She is trying so hard to defend what the fuck he did. And there's been cheating allegations out there for so long that he cheated on her with Anita. And I'm like, um, he definitely cheated on her with someone. And she just refuses to say what it is. And I think that she's trying to protect her, her kids. But her kids yeah, are grown. But her kids are grown. Her youngest, her youngest is like 19. You don't have to protect him. Just don't say anything. Well, she's on a reality show. Uh. So my whole thing is, is like, okay, obviously, like, they they officially are now, like, filing for divorce and whatnot. They've been separated for about a year at this point. And it's kind of like, clearly he did something wrong. And it's kind of like, okay, girl, just say it. Because everything just keeps on being alluded. And my whole thing is, is when you don't keep it real, you allow people, it's up for interpretation. They could fucking make whatever story. Because nothing came out of your mouth. Exactly. So, obviously, there's so many rumors coming out that she's a lesbian now. No, she's with that girl Morgan Wade. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If you have watched the reunion, she is with Morgan Wade. Just keep it real, girl. Absolutely. She's one. She's, she's smitten by her. Like... Me and her were watching. We watched the music video together for the first time. Do you remember? Yeah, that? We were yeah. like, "Oh, you can feel their chemistry." Yeah, I was like, "Damn." In the show, in the music video, I'm like, "Oh, they're eating each other out left and right, yeah, girl." Front and back. Dude, they pull over at Dunkin' Donuts to eat each other out. Yeah. I just know it, girl. She, when they drive, she has her hand on her lap. Yes, so girl. That's how I love I'm sorry. I just really feel like they, and you know what i think they'd make a hot couple sure. i think they would make a fucking I would watch. hot we were sitting there watching i was like loki i thought that girl morgan wade she's kind of hot she's hot she's kind of i was like she could eat my badassi honestly <laughs> <laughs> she you could know. eat it from the back girl yeah. i honestly was like uh but anyways i'm just irritated first of all one just keep it real your kids are grown now and i think that they should i think that your kids should also know too because if you're trying to protect your kids for so long you let your kids interpretate things too because yeah. what if the dad is saying well your mom's this or your mom's that and it's like uh what if all along your mom's in the right and your dad's in the fucking wrong what if what if the dad mauricio sitting over here telling the kids oh your mom's such a bitch she's so boring she's so this she's so that and it's like maybe she's that way because she found out that he cheated on you do you know what or cheated on her you know what i mean so it's like okay and it's dude one of her daughters is like 36 mm. or like 34 35 you something gotta have she's a backbone. you gotta show her like what you, I'm, you know yes I'm that's so what... civil with him but i'm not gonna accept this i don't know i me as a parent 100 percent if my kid was younger i feel like if my kid was younger than like 18 i would i would i would not Protect, say anything shield them from it yeah, but if yeah. they're all older then i i probably so we grew apart dad you know had somebody else yeah dad's a fucking slut and he's out here fucking bitches from instagram no. i'm sorry it is what it is like ugh. i'd fuck him though i'm just throwing that out there oh uh-huh. yeah he's, he's hot for <laughs> yeah yeah and you know what i you know what's so weird and i've never and you know this put me on blast right now I've never said this. What makes him hot to me is his voice. Oh, I never heard his voice. I don't know why I like his voice. I never like heard his voice kind of turns me on, girl. I just thought he was hot. My rectum quivers whenever I hear it. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is the last hot topic. Before we jump into our main topic of why we think motherfucking dating apps give us the ick. Oh, yeah. We need to go get ourselves a beverage. We will do a taste a happy test dad. of the happy dads. And we need a tinkle, tinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And we will be right <laughs> back. We're back. And we're going to try... 
Happy Dad, Hard Ice Tea. But first, we haven't tried blueberry, so we're going to try blueberry. Yep, we sure are. I got blueberry, too. I'm going to do mine differently, though, because as I said before, I just thought it was weird Can you see it? to have... Are you trying to do a product placement? They're oh, yeah. anti-gay, okay? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And she's like, I support them even more now. I love you. She's going to roll through Chick-fil-A happy with her dad happy for dad. Happy right? president. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and give this a sw- You know what? I'll try it regular, and then I'm going to pour it on ice. Whoa, Cheers. these are damn near frozen. Cheers to Patrick. Cheers to St. Patrick. Cheers to Patrick. I used to go to a church that was like, uh, oh, no, that was St. Peter and Paul. Just kidding. Mm. Whoa. It, it tastes like white chocolate. It does. <laughs> It does. It tastes like white chocolate. And we've tried the other this, one. Mine is like frozen. It's chunky. Oh, it's is it? Mine's yeah. not. Fuck, should I not pour, pour it? it on ice? Yeah, you should pour it on. Oh, it's been on oh, here, here, move your mic. <laughs> okay, this is a... Do you see the chunky? Yeah, you have uh, frosted flakes coming Look, out of there. Do you see the ice? Yeah, it's stuck. Oh, that's good, Aww. though. You're going to love that in the summer. Oh, I wanted to specifically pour this on ice because um, when I drink... Are you gonna? Oh, oh, Yay! oh! <gasps> Sorry, oh my god, that looks there's... good, girl. If, if ma'am, look how frothy that looks at the top. Hey, um, you're ready to be on a beach, you slut. I wanted to specifically try this in a cup because, um, when I drink it out of the can, I just was expecting carbonation. I think that my brain was like, what maybe because I have there? a straw, I'm just like, whatever. I don't know. Tastes like white chocolate. This bitch is so far up Happy Dad's ass that she literally will eat them all out from the back. Literally. Like, I oh, love little, Happy gooch Dad. And all. Especially the main guy. Who, who's the main guy? I thought that his, was I don't even know his Nelk name, boys? girl, but he got like really fit. fit uh, and he's no idea. hot. Mm. Girl, I'm a slut. I'm a groupie. I don't care. It's still not my favorite, girl. This tastes like white chocolate. It tastes absolutely nothing like blueberry. It tastes. I don't taste like, any. Where's the blueberry? blueberry at all? Um, I will say on ice though, my brain thinks that okay, it's fine. You're drinking like a little drink. Yeah, like it's you know, it's Doesn't not bad. It's like, not bad. I like I like it more than you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to me, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. I guess because I just love bubbles. Like mm-hmm. I love bubbles. Like bubbles in my butthole. Yeah. Bubbles on my nipples. Yeah. Just bubbles. Bubble you know? guts. Yeah. I used to have a friend. Her name was Bubbles. <laughs> do you know why they called her that? She can blow bubbles. Really? Mm hmm. Dead ass. Wait, what, her cum? No, like she would put bubbles right in front of it and then oh, just blow them out. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what we, we called her bubbles. I love that. Yeah. Love I videoed that. one for her too. Did you really? Yeah, You're I nasty. made this whole fucking thing up. This bitch oh. just fucking believes everything I that say. That sounds like, is she queefing now? Is she just queefing <laughs> in your face? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our eggs. Oh, I did not warn you. So what we were preparing for this, okay, because you guys know that we're both fucking single, and well, especially me, like, fuck, dating in the gate. Can I get in, can anyone let me know, like, for real, is there any app or something that I can do as a gay man to date? Because, yes, the straights are gross, too, but I feel like the gays are more so gross, but I actually want to date, and I don't know how to do that being in the gay community. So, anyways, we screenshot a lot of shit back and forth to each other, and I have been off of dating apps for a while. I recently just downloaded Stupid Scruff, Wolf Wolf, and Hinge. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but fuck Hinge. Um, she I loves Hinge. I wish I could have Hinge. <laughs> oh, go ahead and tell them about that, girl. Before so, we get into our eggs. back eggs. in December, my... T- you did... I think you did mention it before here. It what My... my um, what do you call it? Tinder? My Tinder got reported in the back, and I swear on everything I love in this world... I can't figure out what it was that made me get blocked. I think maybe because you had the word bitch in your bio. I was going through our screenshots. But I I... have it still. Even, like, I've had it the whole time. What do you mean you have it still? You don't have an account now. No, I have a new account with a different... um, Number. A different um, platform. Um, What is it called? Bumble. But every platform is different, though. But also, I've had it. I had that on there the entire time. Oh. And never got and Block. honestly I mean, if you get banned for saying the word bitch because she had put in her like I her bio i promise i like, promise i'm not a bitch don't I ask put, for my phone number I don't ask for my number within the first five minutes yes. like and i said i promise i'm not as bitchy as it sounds or something like that yeah. i don't know you said but other than that i'm not a bitch yeah and but no i don't i couldn't tell you why i got banned so then not only did i get banned from tinder i got banned from all the sister companies which is hinge oh tinder Spa. owns everything and then so after plenty that i kind of let it go plenty of fish well now i go back now trying no no to... oh sorry i was going over the list yes 
what they own. So now I try to make accounts. Like at what it was it last week? I was like fucking. We were in WeHo and this bitch. Well, let me. I was in the car. Making one thing an about fucking Smelly Jelly, she is probably one of the most impulsive people that I know. Yeah. This bitch was like, I need to get on the dating apps now. I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm all here trying so my I'm number. And so literally, we're in the car. I tried both of my sister's numbers. I tried Tim's number for Cheese Spot. And my, I could, it would, it wouldn't let me, it said all you these numbers were number banned. You two for POF, I think. And then I did a Plenty of Fish. I, that's how desperate I was, bitch. She was like, I'm not fucking downloading Plenty of Fish. I said, well, bitch, just try it then. And I did know. it, and it, it, all these things are telling me that my account's banned. Yeah. From numbers that have never had an account. Your number, my sister's number. So I told her, I was like, girl, I think it's your phone's IP address. Like, yes. it has to be linked to your phone's And the IP only thing address. it let me do is Bumble, and I hate Bumble. Because the, the girl, girl has, has to, to message the guy, and that's I just don't like me unless I don't like messaging guys first. Mm. I don't call me old school. You I'll are. fuck you on the first date, but I don't want to <laughs> message you first. <laughs> hey, do you think like back in the eighteen hundreds, like if they went on a first date, do you think that like they just, they just they got fucked. married? They didn't go on dates. I bet you there was like a slut of the town though. Oh, they they probably burned her at the stake and yeah. said she was a witch, huh? They're all, burn her naked. The guys were all. <laughs> <laughs> They're all jacking off to huh, it. Fucking dicks all hard in their little cloth pants. You know what I always think about is like back in the day when How, showers. The nasty. Like, they didn't shower. Okay, since there was no like showers. Like medieval times. Do you think that like guys were eating bitches out and bitches were yeah. sucking dick? Like, I don't know. Like like who like thought like. They're just like. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine like the bitches back in the day? They look at a man and in his like night suit and it's all full of fucking armor. And then they suck his dick and it tastes like a penny. Like. <laughs> I'm Can sorry. you imagine that? Yeah. Like, do you think they did that back in the medieval That's, times? I'm curious to know. Like, I know they fucked, but it's just like, was it just like he just put his dick and he came in three strokes? Dude, I don't know. But I asked you this question before. I ask everyone this question. When you die, if you were granted the wish to see a million years into the past, meaning you could see every single generation, every single century, whatever, would you rather look a million years into the past or a million years into the future? I asked you this before when we were on a road trip, but I forgot your answer. So, like, what would it be? Because it's hard. I'm like, fuck, I want to know the past. But yeah, then I but also it's like, the I can relate to the future. At least as I know where we are now. So, it's like to see where we would go. But it's like, I want to know, like, have you ever seen Black Knight with Martin Lawrence? Where he, like, goes into, he, like, in a back portal. In, yeah, and he, yeah. like, goes. It's like, and they fucking rank shit. They shit in the fucking sewer. Like, there was no clean water. They just had diseases left and right. People died so early in life. Yeah, dude. They'd be and dying I'm at, like, 30. Yeah. They would talk about they showered once a year. Yeah. So what's your answer? Probably the future. I know. I always said that too. Yeah. I think Rosa said the past. I think. We'd I could be, be wrong. It'd probably just be like people like this big just floating. I just want to know like how the end i know this is, this sounds so fucked up but everyone says that like the earth eventually will perish like of course like a meteor is gonna hit it or global warming or a flood or whatever the fuck the, and i want to know how will it end Let i just want to know this. that i smoked a blunt today and then i went to work out not at the gym because i can't do that i went to exercise in my outdoor hills yeah i can't go to the gym if i'm high like i'm scared i'm gonna fall yeah and I was in a great headspace. Like, I had my little drink and my little, not alcohol, I had an energy drink. And I smoked a blood. I love how you had to specify. No yeah, alcohol. yeah, no, literally, literally. And I'm all, girl, you got fucking problems if you're smoking <laughs> yeah. a blood and drinking a tall can to go work out. <laughs> work out. Like, girl. No, and then I'm working out, and I see, like, I see, like, a couple, like, old people. Like, one was getting pushed in a wheelchair, and I'm like, Pushed in a wheelchair up the hill? No, like just in the neighborhood when uh, I wasn't, I wasn't like once I left the, the hills. And I'm just like, I thought to myself, yes, I was high. Like, they're going to die soon. There was a frail woman and I'm like, she's going to die soon. And there's no escaping that. But you know what's really crazy though? And think about this too, is you look at them and say they're going to die soon, but you could die before them. Yeah, well that You too, know what I mean? But for sure too. But I'm thinking like this is right in this moment is the youngest I'm ever going to be. And, and I have so much life in front of me. And I have so much that I can do. I have so much that I can want. And it's just like, but one day, very quickly, because I can think about from 9 to 32, and it was like this. Yeah. Time just, yeah. I remember being in high school, and now time flew. 30 years passed. Did you feel in passed. high school that it took so long? Time moved slow as fuck? Maybe I, at the time. At the time, I thought I was like, specifically I, But I, I really like, wanted to grow up. Me too. I wanted to be like 18. I wanted to drive a car. We're fucking stupid. That was, yeah, absolutely. We're I stupid. wanted to drive a car. I wanted to be like that girl with my phone. And I go hang out. Hang out. Like, I wanted to grow up. 
But I just thought, and I was like, dude, they're so, like, you can't escape it. That's the one thing you can't escape is getting yeah. older and your clock running out because we can't live forever. And I'm like, I was like, dude. Yeah, I was motivating myself. I was like, this is the youngest I'm ever be. I can do whatever I want. Yep, absolutely. Like, you gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta just acknowledge that and, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I was high, bitch. I know. I was like, that's not as profound as you thought it was, girl. I'm just saying, so you know, that wasn't deep. I'm, every human on this planet knows we're gonna die. Yeah, bitch. but I was just this like, fucking bitch over here thinking she's know. Albert Einstein and shit. She cracked the code to life. She saw old people and said, "Oh, they're gonna die." Whoa, fuck, never do that. I was just like, <laughs> girl, eat some edibles next time. We need you to think a little fucking harder than that shit, bitch. <laughs> God damn, not you taking up fucking 20 minutes to tell that story, <laughs> fucking loser. No, no, she gets high to work out. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so uh, go back to your story about uh, you downloaded all and One stuck. I'm still on. Yes, exactly. What is it called? Pure. So there's, I didn't know that there's a, a uh, what is it called? A grinder for straight people. Okay, so I Googled it and, okay, so let me give my, my, my um, explanation of this is because, like, she was, like, in a moment where she just wanted a little attention, right? And I'm yes. just like, okay, girl, like, why don't you just, like, look for a, like, fuck these dating apps because they, men will fuck with you on dating apps and, like, string you along and they don't know what the fuck they want, right? I said, why don't you directly go to a straight up hookup app? So I Googled straight version of Grindr. And this is how this, we found Pure. This app called Pure came up. The messages Woo! I was receiving, I was shook. Oh. Like, guys were like, come sit on my face. Like, and I was like. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, actually, to be honest, it's worse than Grindr. It is, it's, it's worse nasty. than Grindr. I, um, I was like, whoa. I took my account off of, like, to be visible. But I wanted to save it because all of my messages I wanted to show you. Let me read them. Okay, well, hold on. There's this one that she she received a three minute long voice message. I from received this man. a three minute long voice message, and his, like, I, I haven't heard it. She, I haven't. She, I saved it for you, but I haven't showed you yet. Whoa. Okay, because I was telling her I was like, oh, like you could do a screen recording or a screenshot. But you can't. You don't see anything. Oh no! I thought you were gonna tell him though about the screenshot shit. You can't screenshot on this app. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. You can't screen record or screenshot. What it does is it screenshots black. And then it notifies, notifies the person that you were trying to screenshot. Yes. I'm like, what like, the fuck? What an app. Dude, are you going to play us a little? Let's hear. Are you on it ready? It's, okay. You see three minutes, right? Not it being exactly three minutes. Yeah. He's a weird guy. I want to hear it. So I told her um, when she was like, bitch, you have to hear this message or whatever. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like, play it on the podcast because we all need to hear I'm it. I'm in effect. He talks for a minute just like, you're so beautiful. Why are you on this app? But then he gets nasty. Yeah. Okay. I'm all. Ready? Go, all right, play it. Is your volume up? So I came across your profile and it absolutely made me laugh. Just it's laugh. Your analogy, your analogy for grinder and for straight people, like your analogy for grinder for straight people. Shooting their shot and they're shooting their shot with the expectation. Shooting their shot. How many times are you gonna fucking say that? You within like hours, I guess, or the next day. That's that's kind of wild. So, um, anyway, I. Let me point that out. He said about how it's crazy for guys to think that they, that they can just, like, hit me up and just fuck me within a day, right? Yeah, I heard that. Well, not those words exactly, Listen but yeah. to, like, okay. I can't fast forward it, but no, le, le, it's going to be worth your time, guys. Y'all, we are on a podcast. There is, Enjoy sky's the limit for time. Uh, I did want to ask you, especially after seeing your pictures and seeing how attractive you are, you're, you're a stunner. You're absolutely stunner. She's a stunner. You're attractive. Your face, your features, your smile, your eyes. And of course, your body, your legs, everything. You look exceptional. So I have to ask you, what are you doing here? Like, um, you can find any guy you want. You can walk into a Starbucks, into not. a Target, into a Costco. You can you can bag any guy that you want. So not Costco. I have to ask why why this app? Why here? Come on, overalls. Like, you said this is a grinder for for streets, whatever. Why, why even need an app? What are you missing? What what sexual desires <laughs> are you missing? What needs <laughs> and what cravings are you not? Stop, no, let it play, Bye. bitch, stop. Let it play. We're invested. Getting taken care of for you. Like, I want to ask you these questions. I want to uncover the answer so that I can discover your every sexual desire. He thinks he's fucking Dr. Gray. Like, what and the I fuck is this? Them on you. I will unleash them and overwhelm all of your sensations. All of your sense of sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. But, <laughs> you know, I just... I'm just wondering, like, do you think he was jacking why? off while like, sending this? Do you have a kink? Do you have a praise kink? Oh, priest? Do you want me to tell you what a good slut you are? 
Do you really like to be commanded? Do you like to be told what to do? Should I tell you, like, like get on your knees and look at me as I take my dick and I trace it across your lips? <laughs> I slap it on your cheeks just before I throw you. Throw me? Or what if I told you stand up, bend around, turn around, bend over, and arch your back for me while I take my hands and spread your ass wide open? Burying my face inside of you, taking my nose, my cheeks, my mouth, my face. Come on, sexy red baby shower. Around the inside of you, putting my nose right on your asshole so that I can smell and sniff. <laughs> Not him sniffing! Not him taking sniffing! My entire pussy in my mouth, sucking. My entire pussy. Sucking you like a peach, like a nectarine, just tasting your delicious, decadent fruit. You just. <laughs> all of your cream on my Fr fry. Enjoy. Or maybe you've seen my picture. Maybe you've seen how big, how thick, how it's long, not, and how not. attractive my cock is. You just imagine. Not him hyping his dick up. You, yeah, stretching you to your limit. Engaging stretching all of your inner and pussy outer lips. They're throbbing. The sensation of the bliss of girls. Oh, ma'am. Ma Mind you, he ma started the message with, I don't know why these guys just think they can fuck you. And he said he was gonna put my whole pussy in his mouth. You wanna see a picture? Ma'am, that was um. Look. Okay, love this. Ma'am, ma'am. That fool said thick. He's gonna stretch my pussy lips. What do you think? I'm a child. Let's stretch you out. <laughs> like, what do you, bitch? I've had a pap smear before. What the fuck? Girl, <laughs> bitch. I've seen bigger dicks in a jar of pickles. Ma what the fuck? Isn't that nasty? But pure, yeah. So I will be hey, delete now that I showed you. I'm gonna delete that. Like I don't want nothing to do with that. Hey, that shit's fucking entertaining. I'll tell you that. Ma'am. That was the best voice message you've ever fucking received right there. We sh you should record it on your phone so we have it forever, you know? Dude, not him literally talking all sensual, thinking that he's like, oh. he thinks he's Mr. Gray, girl. When he said, I'm going to put your entire pussy in my mouth. I he's was like, piss, hold up. When he literally said he's going to put his nose in your butt. In my asshole. And then he, and then he, <laughs> he fucking sniffed it. What the fuck? Should I reply right now? Just on the thinking. podcast, okay. let's do it. Girl, what are you gonna say? Something. I'm like, are you ready? Oh, wait, I dare, I dare you, you to you write him and be like, "Damn, I ate Popeyes today. Took a massive shit. Are you ready to sniff?" <laughs> no, my picture's on there, bitch. <laughs> should I put? Are you ready to sniff? <laughs> what should I say? I bet you'll write back right away. Okay. He's gonna fucking send you a voice message of <laughs> sniff, sniff, snifferoo. I put that. Dude, oh. Let's see when he replies. We'll leave it right there. I think I'm just a fucking, like, old spirit or something. Because, That's repulsive, bitch. Well, bitch, okay. And so I'm a slut. <laughs> speaking of dating apps and things like that, it's so crazy to me is that, like, oh, y'all, we're going to go over profiles within today's fucking podcast. And it's so crazy to me that people will put on their, their bio will literally be, like, looking to get my dick sucked, looking at blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, um, do you think that this, like... But I told her before, like, you. it must you think work. That, I was going to say to me, I'm like, oh, that's fucking gross. Like, why are you? I want somebody who I like to talk to me like that later. Not in the first, you know, first few hours. You message like, me, me at 3 3 p.m. And then I write back to you at 3 30 p.m. And you're talking to me like that already. That's mm -hmm. fucking weird. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, damn. You don't even know my hygiene. You don't even know my hygiene. Literally. Mm -mm. What, if, what if I fucking smell like gangrene? Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Like, girl. Fucking B.O. No, you pun intended on the gangrene because it's St. Patrick's Day. Woo! Uh, some Lydia Green. Um, <laughs> come on, sexy red. I was going to call her Sniffy Red. Sniffy Red? <laughs> no, that's her man. <laughs> uh, literally. A uh, little Sniffy. <laughs> okay, so dating app X. Okay, I... I was starting to tell you, but then we fucking go off topic like we usually do. Um, I was going through our pictures and I do have to. OK, so I have some <laughs> screenshots of some fucking nasty ass shit people have wrote to me and whatnot. Right. But, dude, your ex like take the fucking cake of it. Like people, the shit that people have hit her up on, like, dude, is next level. I literally have screenshots of all your shit. Like, anyways, that I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I want to first, before we jump into, like, the fun shit, which is people's fucking bios and the messages that mm -hmm. they've sent, I want to go over our icks first. Okay. So just that way you can think of, like, what are your dating app icks? I'll say mine, and this is, like, so common in the gay community, and we've already, actually already talked about this. Last week I had mentioned it. Um, oh, update. Okay. Oh, okay. We have another voice message. He sent you he another He replied with a voice <gasps> okay, message. Okay, oh, man. What did I tell? What did I say? <laughs> If sniffing, it's sniffing. Play it, girl. Play it. 
not you guys getting live here on the on the podcast. I wouldn't have said it if I wasn't ready to do it. And there's something about your pictures that just drives me wild. Oh, I was hoping you'd give a little sniff sniff roo at the end of yeah, that. Yeah, say bro. sniff for me. Yeah, do it. Not him sounding like he's at work at a warehouse. Dude, literally, <laughs> he's, he's at Costco, fucking loading up the bays, girl. Sniff for me. He's so embarrassing. Like he thinks he's about to fuck me. <laughs> At, at the end of this podcast, block him. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, I'm deleting the app. I don't want to be on the app. <laughs> Dude, you're literally getting this hard right now. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so my my first ick, and this bothers me so fucking much, somebody will write to me, and then I'll write back to them, and then they don't respond. And I'm like, what the f-? And I have... They do that. that happens to me, too, so... Yeah, but not so much, because I feel like I've sent you... Screenshot after screenshot after screenshot. I'm like, this motherfucker hit me up. Hey, how's it going? I'm like, good. How's your day going? No fucking response. Like, what did you think I was gonna offer to suck your dick? Like, I what don't. Did you want? I literally. Am I boring? Her, I've asked her before. What am I supposed to say back? If somebody says, "How's your day?" I'm like, "Oh, hey, my day's good." And but you can only equate that to them like wanting to be satisfied. Like, oh, here reply. That's okay. So that's what I started thinking. I was like, do you think that maybe that they just want the gratification of like, oh, he'll respond? Yes. That's weird to me. Like, of why, course it is. I don't need anybody in this fucking earth to stroke my ego, bitch. Like, no. I know I'm a fucking fat, bald loser with a hairy back. Like, I don't need anybody to hype me up. You know what I mean? So I don't understand it's why. Insec- people are just so insecure. Even if they, you look at them and you're like, oh, you're decent. Like, but people are just so like, ugh. Yeah, literally, even the fives are ugh. What the fuck? Yeah, the fives are ugh too. <laughs> the fives, tens are ugh. Might as well get you a ten because they're just as bad as the fives. Five's Literally. Just as, five Zach just as crazy. Get you a 10. For real. Okay, so what's your My first itch? dick? What your first dick? I only wrote down a couple, honestly. Because I, I wanted to get into this fucking bio. Sniff for me. <laughs> Whatever, girl. Okay. Some of them are stupid and some are real. Okay. I hate when they put in their bio, like, um, going blank in the summer, give me travel tips. That pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> Or when they say need a plus one for a wedding in October. Okay, now that that's a straight thing. I was okay. That's I was gonna st- agree with that bitch in the comments who said that your fucking icks are irrational because the first one I understand because as a traveler I'm like oh okay, I okay like bitch to- not everybody travels like you. People just try to identify- maybe he does. I see it so often. Well, maybe they bitch they probably travel more than I do bitch I'm fucking poor. Okay. No, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> but or when they say they're going to a wedding, how the fuck are you gonna bring a plus one off the internet? That you From don't know Tinder. in front of in From front Tinder. of people that you go to like. Didn't I tell you though that I had a friend who took her first date, her first date to a family wedding? I was like, well, not a friend. But I can't say it. Oh. Yeah, but I was just like, your first date was at your cousin's wedding, and yeah, I was like, what the? F- the fuck? fact that you asked somebody to agree to that. Weird. Well, men are fucking men are, desperate. Men are desperate. Well, but then also she's desperate, clearly, too. She don't want to fucking show up single. Who is this? Oh, you said you tell me that. I'm on me. I'm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um. It, well, you go on with your... I'm sure you have way more than I do, because you're a fucking picky bitch. Picky um, bitch. When they record... When they have, like... You know you put pictures in your profile, or you got videos, too? Mm-hmm. I see this when straight guys are recording themselves, and then they wink. You're winking right now. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> because... <laughs> Y'all, too bad you can't. <laughs> Is it still there? She I spit all over. I was there was a hot guy the other day. I'm like scrolling through shakes all hot, and then he has a video winking, and I was like, and you sent him a selfie back. He's like, I like your wink. <laughs> I was just like, why are you doing it? Like you're a grown man. Like, why are you, first of all, like, why are you in the car like this? Like, that's, this is what I do as soon as I get in the car. Like, and then you, like, <laughs> like it's so gay. <laughs> Look, bitch, I can't be, bitch, you got glob of fuck you. Step. I said, whoa. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. <sighs> fuck you, bitch. Oh, too bad the camera didn't pick that up because you were turned this way. Yeah, exactly. Fuck, that was fucking hilarious. Um, When they say, when they message you and they say, we should hang out, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. First of all. Don't. Don't. So you don't care to take me on a date. You want to hang out. Wait, didn't we talk about this before? And I think somebody in the comments had said, like, they're down for that. Am I tripping? I, I, bitch, I have. I've been down to hang out before. But it's Immediately? like. Immediately? The same oh, day? No. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I'm talking about. I just mean in general. Like, don't ever hit me up with the phrase, we should hang out. Oh, you meant Ask the phrase. Ask me on a date. Oh, I thought you meant your first. No. Oh, well, they do. They will tell you on the first day of talking to hang out. It's like, I'm sorry, I don't care to be in a Dateline episode tonight. No, literally, I think you can be the hottest fucking guy on the planet, and I'm not going to go but also, with you. But well, also, if I if I truly don't have intentions of fucking, why would I hang out with you on the first date? That's weird. I don't, I'm, even if the conversation, even if you talked for four hours, I'm not going to meet up with you that night. No, because it's, my whole thing is like, like I don't, uh-oh, <laughs> we're losing a man. Uh-oh, okay, we're good. Uh. Not our dollar. Uh, uh-huh. Y'all, it's stuck to the wall by eyelash glue. <laughs> We put eyelash glue. Ah! Okay. You know what? Fuck this She's shit. Scared. Whatever. But it's just like, no, leave her. Yeah. Patrick. Yeah. Love you, Patrick. Love you, Patty. Um. Yeah, there's, I'm like, I don't ever want to hang out with somebody so quickly because I get scared. Like, I want to know that I at least like, like have a vibe. Like, we've been talking for a couple <laughs> days. I'm like, okay, we get along. You get my humor. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be in somewhere where I'm stuck with you. I have told her this several times. I think for me, like, I need to securely know that we're going to meet up and be able to and converse. Click. Because I am i can't put myself into it. So, I've told her this before, and you guys can probably call me crazy. But I'm the type of person that, say, for example, if she's like, oh, hey, my coworker wants to come with us tonight to WeHo. Can she come along? So she's going to hop in the car or whatever. I'd be like. I don't, I don't like that. Like, I don't know this person. So what if the vibe is weird? And I have my reason for that being is I feel like I've been in so many awkward fucking positions before. Like there was one time my friend brought a friend along who I've never even fucking met before. And I'm driving. Okay. And I'm jamming out to my music. And this motherfucker's like, can you change the song? Oh, okay. So I don't like the song. Room, sir. Right. I'm like, um, I'm driving like bitch. Stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where I'm like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. So I don't want to meet up with fucking somebody and it's like so awkward of like, I don't know. Because people are fucking weird. Yeah. What? Did he write back or what? Not yet. She's getting all excited over here. The oh my inability. God. Bitch, don't my couch. Another thing <laughs> is the inability to read a room or constantly sending out messages when I'm not responding. That's on my list. I literally have on there, do don't not be do pushy. Stop being put, Ma'am, I have one screenshot in general and I sent it to you. I found it in our thing. I'm like, this guy. Ma'am. You'd like embarrassing. Okay, so my whole thing, this person, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? You're really cute. Hey there, what's up, dude? Hey, dude, how's it going? Not okay. Dude. <laughs> my whole thing is, and you know what's so crazy is this is the, ma'am, this is a span of five months. <laughs> yeah. We oh. love dedication. Okay, so my whole thing is, is I feel like a fucking piece of shit just blocking some random person who's being nice. I'll block a person if they're fucking... Too much. Like, if somebody just sends a dick pic, and I'm like, I didn't want to see that. You know what I mean? Or if somebody's like, hey, can I eat your ass tonight? Block. You know, things like that, I don't mind blocking. But when somebody's being like, hi, hey... And I'm like, whoa, I'm not attracted to you whatsoever. And they could see that I viewed their profile, so clearly I saw you. I didn't hit you up. But my... Okay, so here's the two things that I fucking get so twisted on is I don't want to respond because I don't want to lead you on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Am I, I'm down to be friends with everyone, right? But obviously you're on a fucking dating app, so clearly you're looking to, you know, either yeah. hook up or date or whatever, you mm-hmm. know? So my thing is I don't want to block you because I feel like a fucking piece of shit because mm-hmm. you're nice. You're mm-hmm. not, you know what I mean? But then it's like when you're that persistent, you can't read a room, then I'm like, fuck, I guess I have to block you. You know what I mean? Like, I mean... What do you do in that case? Like, I don't want... Like, I'm getting embarrassed mm. watching you embarrass yourself. Right? I'm like, fuck. But then also at the same time, too, you know, what? Are the, what's that phrase is a fucking closed mouth don't get fed, so... Well, I mean, they're just uh, going through life with their mouth open. Damn. I do have to say this, though, and fucking talk about um me sitting over here being a hypocrite is I look at things like that and I'm like, maybe I should try... Y'all, I don't know if you guys have known this. Or I'm sure you've known this. I have never ever and i mean never sent one message to somebody never whether it be on insta um, sorry a man um, whether it be on instagram grinder scruff tinder i've never messaged somebody first yeah you know who i messaged first and this is the last time i've ever done that who bowser <laughs> that was many moons ago <laughs> I had a sick as And then I, I learned my lesson. I don't message people first. Like, what the fuck? I feel like when you're on a swiping, matching type of swipe, 
uh, when a girl matches you back, that's her go ahead to message me. Yeah. That's why I feel like men should message you because it's like I'm telling you, hey, like I like you, I like the what I see too. But you felt the need to write to him because you saw that English bulldog butthole face and yeah. was like, oh, I gotta get up in yeah, there. Like... Ugh. Ugh, he's ugly. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry. Intrusive thoughts winning. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Oh, another thing is I hate when fucking people ask for dick pics, butthole pics, everything. Like instantly, their first message. Any dick pics? Any hole pics? I'm like hole. Yeah, literally on grinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all. You show me your ear. <laughs> like what the? Fu- oh. I don't understand. And you know what's so crazy is I think that people. First of all, they do it so much on Grinder because people do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They wouldn't ask if they never got answered. I never in my life, in my horniest state of mind, would I hit somebody up and say, hey, can I see your dick? I will never. That's right. Ever. Sure like Let alone a picture of your face, bitch. Like, if you, I know. I'm not asking for pictures. Girl. Dude, I'm that's like, like when the guy asks for a pussy pic. I'm like, you're not. I've never, ever in my life said a pussy pic. And really? I like, I like my pussy. Oh, actually, like one, one somebody who shall not be named told me I had the prettiest pussy they'd ever seen. Ma'am, why do you keep on putting me Fucking bitch. That shit's fucking hard, bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. That, let me hit you with that. That shit fucking hurts. Leave Patrick She's, alone. Bitch, I'm trying to go out tonight. She's fucking on my makeup. <laughs> bitch, you know the no face rule. Fuck. I'm sorry. This bitch believes every fucking lie a man tells. A man will literally be like, you have the prettiest thumb. This bitch has a fucking Megan Fox thumb. And she'll be like, he said I have the prettiest thumb. It's like, bitch, stop. And you know what? I've been told before that I have the fucking best hairline in the world. Do you think I'm going to fucking believe that shit? God damn. Her fucking shit looks like an Arby's commercial. <laughs> she opens up her legs and it says, we have the meats. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> sniffing, bitch! Ew, ew! Oh, Not Lord. him sniffing on the phone, bitch. Yeah. He thought that that was gonna get you wet. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I'm just like, has that ever worked for you with a bitch? It had to have. It had to have. Why I'm would like, you do that? You, you could have been reading a, the fucking Pledge of Allegiance, and I would have been repulsed by your voice. God damn, you got a fucking ginger pupil on now. Um, I don't know how it is. That's a great question. Well, anyways, let me move on to my list here. Um, oh, well, pushies, on. girl, you got fucking. I'm a, I'm a fuck you up. It doesn't have it. What the fuck? It literally is ginger, fucking bitch. Hmm. Ginger. Do you see that she physically assaults people? She's just like her sister. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Good morning. I have another one. I just have one last one. Um, okay. because I get this so much, and I know that, like, I guess this is like, um. Maybe it's me being negative. Okay? okay, okay. Maybe it's me being negative. Maybe it's me being um a little too nitpicky or something. I uh-huh. don't know. Um, I hate and I receive this the most. You have a pretty face. You have a handsome face. You ha- you're being negative. That's a fucking compliment. No, because to me it's like okay, I'm fucking fat. Why why can't you just say you're handsome, you're pretty, but you're you good looking? You have a pretty face, and I think that. So the rest of me, the rest of me is fucking ugly. See, I think you're misreading the situation here. No, I think you're being an over. You're just being yourself and overthinker. No, every fat person out there can relate to this, and I feel like you've never really actually been fat. So, like you, what do you want to be told? You're pretty. Yes, tell. Why don't you just say I'm pretty? Why is it always face, face? Why is it just face? Why? Because dead ass, bitch, no one's ever just fucking said, hey, you're handsome. It's always, you have a handsome face. Yeah. It's like, why do you specifically have to say face? And I don't think you realize because, sorry to put you on blast, but I think this is the biggest that you've been, right? No. Really? No. I don't ever remember you being any bigger. Yes, I have. When me and her started getting really close, I was like, this bitch is skinny. Like, she's been, like, to me, you've been skinny forever. No. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I've ever been, like, fat, but I've been, I've been, like, a, like, a trash bag full of water, bitch. That's how I be feeling. This bitch, and honestly, just, like, two years ago, the bitch was, like, a twig. You know what I mean? So, that's why I was like, I'm not, I'm not being rude, and I'm not calling and her fat happened? now. Well, no, but what I'm saying is I don't think that you could relate to being told you have a pretty face. Your face is attractive. Like, because yeah. you start realizing, well, fuck, like, so the rest of me is just fucking garbage. You know what I mean? Which I know it is. 
You don't need but to tell me, you bitch. You don't need to fucking tell me. Bitch. But any fat person can relate to this. Me and um, my uncle's ex-girlfriend would always, like, why does everyone oh. tell us? Because and she was a bigger person, too. Oh, my other friend, Angelica, you know, she's big, too. Everyone always fucking tells a pretty face. pretty. And I'm like, you start getting tired of, like, why do they specifically? Yeah, I've never been told I have a pretty face. Even this fucking guy says, you're gorgeous. You're this. He didn't say you have a gorgeous face. You yeah, know what I've I never mean? Been told that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm like, dude, everyone fucking, and I deadass even have this in my fucking notes. It's always pretty face, handsome face. Which, by the way, too, that's another thing that Loki kind of triggers me is why did, and I know I look feminine. Like, my face, I can't help it, bitch. I don't know. No, it's not even because you're gay. Like, I just, I have a feminine eyebrows, face. Like... Bitch, my eyebrows are my eyebrows. They've been that way since yeah. I was a kid. Like, they're you just, just naturally. Have feminine features. Exactly. So that's why I'm just like, that's another thing. Don't get me wrong. You can call me pretty. But it's like, typically people will call me pretty. I'm like, no, oh, fuck. It's rare what that What do you want to be? Like, oh, you're hot. No, because oh, okay. I know I'm not hot. So I'm... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to be lied to. <laughs> True. Be like, you know what I mean? I know I'm not hot and You're I'm like, fine. Damn, with bitch, that. you fine. <laughs> okay, that's my red flag right there. If somebody calls me fine or hot, <laughs> um, I, I write back Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, Did bitch? You keyboarding Braille? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? No, but I, don't get me wrong. Look, of course, I'll take any compliment, sure, right? But I, when it comes down to, obviously, with men and stuff, and I do have to say being called pretty as a man sucks, you I know? Because I'm like, to me, that means you're calling me feminine, which... I don't... Okay, I under I acknowledge that I obviously am semi-feminine, but I don't think I'm the... Man, I'm you're not like... Um, I've other, seen worse, but you're like... Other uh, gays that were you around... You have traits, but I don't think you're like... <laughs> like, you don't yeah. like exude femininity. You have like traits that I have, but you're not like... Well, you're I'm, not like... Yeah, I don't own a fucking purse with a microphone and no, sing on my stories. No, you don't wear chain, chain link bras. You don't. Like, I <laughs> wish you did. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, so I'm like, Fuck. I wish you did, but yeah, I can't talk you into that. Well, I'll get there. Maybe Pride. Hey, I'd love that. Okay, so let's see. We should go to Pride this year. Kylie Minogue's performing. Valerie's already buying um, I, I VIP responded, tickets. I re- oh, see, I'm not doing all that. I'm poor, I but I want to go. I was like, Kylie Minogue, girl, I have to go. I'll go with your what? sister. They all love, but she's going to the VIP girl. That's a whole different section. Your other sister. Oh, I was like, I go. know Genevieve is not paying for VIP, <laughs> girl. But you got to pay for how much of the tickets? Like forty bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go. Oh. Okay. Do you have any more icks before we get into the fun shit? Yeah, when it, when you're like fairly new into Hold a on. conversation. That was a rhetorical question because I knew you had more icks. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> uh, this is the last one. When you shut the fuck up. Yeah, I swear. When you're in a conversation fairly new, maybe like couple days as uh, maybe like two three days don't ask me what i'm doing bitch we have a million other things we can talk about you can there's a like that that's like, irrational the first day the guy messaged me and he's like the within the first five minutes you messages. said three days you're like okay oh. but the my my most recent example was it was it was like five messages in and he's like what are you doing and i'm like bitch you could ask me anything to get to know me what like you're not even gonna like so like Saying, like, what are you up to? Is that, That's the same thing as saying, what are you doing? If, I don't mind when somebody just, says that to me. But if we just started talking, and it, we're, like, barely... Like, you can ask me so many other things. So what do you want, like, the first message to be? I mean, obviously, ask the first... Ask about me, and then, you know, what they always do. What do you do? Um, Do you have kids? People like, ask that right away? Straights always ask you, what do you do? Oh, I I've ask never you, been asked that right you, away. I won't. Derek, Derek says he experiences a lot. But if you ask me, if you ask me, I'm going to ask you back. But I won't ask you first. Unless you tell me you're all working. And if you bring it up, I'll ask. But I, like, but they, yeah, straight I people ask immediately. I would never ask that immediately. first. Oh. Especially men. They'll ask me immediately what I do. I'm like, suck cock for a living? Actually, I work on Crenshaw and I suck dick for $25 a um, pop. Here's my OF. <laughs> Literally. But. They do. I'm an but online I'm content like, creator. Why ask what are you doing when there's so much shit? Like, unless you truly want to know what I'm doing because you have something, you want me to be doing something else. What does what are you doing is Writing so, something else. so stupid. Well, I disagree with you on that one. I, I feel like, girl. But I don't like what are you doing. Like, bitch, there's a million other questions. Well, I don't like the, the term exactly what are you doing because that, that's like what we say as friends. Like, what are you doing? You know what yeah. I mean? But, like. For, for me or something, you know, like, what are you up to? You know what I mean? But it's like, just like, if you're trying to get to know somebody, like, you can ask a billion questions. Hmm. Other than that. But that was it. Okay, not bad. Um, Let's go ahead and read some of these fucking bios. First of all, I just want to say that one of you, and I will obviously won't show this picture, but I'm sorry, this fucking picture alone with the raised eyebrows and everything. 
I forgot about that. <laughs> this this man on hinge. He's significantly okay? older. I don't want to be rude. He's not older. He's he 40, just looks he's, fucking old. Well, no, he's 46. I see his oh, age he's right old. here. He's 46, so he's like two years older than me. Too old um, to be putting that. Uh, okay, guys. So on Hinge, you can put on there like, like what little, your greatest um, strength is. Prompts. Just, well, yeah, prompts. prompts. So this guy puts on here, my greatest strength. Oh, and you know gosh. what he put? My oral skills. So and I specifically screenshot it. We have so many mm-hmm. dating app fucking screenshots. Ugh, screenshots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I specifically put this on there because you're 46 years and like, old and saying that. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's that, not cute. That fucking scares me. It scares me because I'm like, I'm going to be single forever. I'm going to be that. You're 46 and you're still like that. You're fucking gross. Grow the fuck up. I'm sure you probably have a 30 year old daughter. Like, uh, what the fuck? Uh, like, what a mess. I, I don't about that. I don't like that. I don't. I hate that. I don't like it's that. It's just you don't need to do that because I guarantee your old skills suck. Guarantee you that. If you say it, that means they suck. No, but I guarantee you, you never, never. You know what I like to. You don't even know women can come. Literally. (laughs) (laughs) But bitches are over here pinging your mouth because you're grossing them. (laughs) They're like (laughs) fucking texting their friends about you and what they fucking pissed on you. (laughs) Um, Okay, I'm so sorry. I have to put you on blast with this one. Let me see. Cause somebody, no, not let you see, bitch. I'm gonna fucking read it. Bitch. Did I say something to them? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I found it. And this is another older man. I want to see the guy. He. Hold on. I'm gonna read it to you okay, first to see, see if, if it jogs any memories. Okay. And somebody. Okay. So on Hinge, if you have a picture, somebody can actually write to God. your picture, and you see the the fucking picture. This bitch has a fucking picture, uh, where she's sitting here on my fucking couch. And this person says, I'm, you're going to get it right away. I just got pulled over by a cop while sending. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get through this message without losing my mind. I'm sorry. This She sent me a screenshot of this. I lost my fucking mind. <laughs> Hysterical. Okay. Let me start over. Okay. Let me get into actor Tim. Okay. Sniff. <laughs> I just got pulled over by a cop while sending you my initial message. He gave me the whole driving and texting is dangerous speech and was about to give me a ticket. I showed him your picture and I told him what hinge dating was about. He let me off with a warning and told me I better get your number. <laughs> I didn't reply. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god! I can't breathe right now. It's like, <laughs> has that ever worked? <laughs> has it ever worked? <laughs> and not him being fifty three. Oh my lord! And I feel so bad because, like, you know that, like, he. It was a long, me- like, it's just like this thick of a message. He put effort in, bitch. Like mm. he put effort, and I'm like, sir, ma'am. And he's uh. holding his he's holding his fucking great great grandson. Like, <laughs> like, <come laughs> on. Oh my god, bitch! Not this fucking grinder message. And this is not mine. This is not oh, mine. Okay. 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 I just thought it was, but this is like real shit. There's actually on Twitter. Okay, I just to. I just had to post this in here because this person said, "Do you believe in angel numbers?" And the person responds, "Yes, I do, Papas." Which, by the way, oh. right? Hold on, hold on. And then this person writes back, do you want to get your ass 888? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> I fucking lost it at that. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait, let's talk about one more grinder one. And I sent you this one and I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Do you remember this at all? Don't read it. No. Okay. This person sent me four pictures of a man, okay? And am I gonna lie to you? I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. I thought it was the guy. I was like, oh, he's sending his face pictures. He has an anonymous profile. Maybe he's like not out, right? This motherfucker goes and hits me up and says, hey, do you know this guy? And I'm like, didn't even respond. Two hours later, (laughs) my friend got an STD from him an hour later, and I wanted to let you know. (laughs) And then another message, in case you know him. Bitch, I ain't never seen this fucking man in my life. What makes you think that I know this man? Okay. <laughs> Why do you do that? And fuck, like, talk about putting a bitch on blast. Like, goddamn. I mean, 
it's fucked up obviously get get your you know std checks like get checked you know what i mean but not you fucking sending me all the pictures of this man and then saying all these things like what the fuck it seemed like he was genuine too like he meant it like oh no i think so it made me sad at first though because i was like oh he's kind of (laughs) cute i was like oh and then i was like whoa that took a turn oh that has nothing to do with dating (laughs) no i'm going through my photos trying to find shit that i've sent Oh my god, I, ma'am, I took screenshots for days. Hold on, I got you covered, girl. Oh, you ain't got nothing? Okay. Um, Jelly over here sent me this one, okay? And I was like, wow, okay? This was a guy's prompt on Hinge. I was trying to log on to Young Latina Housewives, but I kept using .org. Apparently, that doesn't exist, so I ended up here. Most importantly, I love bachata to expect to dance oh to it. God. Or, so expect to dance to it, sorry. 510, but I see you ladies walking with those 51 rancheros outside of Pico Rivera, so IDK. Of course, I have a rescue dog because I'm white. Let's go see a movie. This time, I won't have a bucket of popcorn on my lap with a hole cut in the bottom of it. It didn't work last time. I got a bad rash from the artificial butter it was a white guy that sent me that yeah, yep yep i have one for you <laughs> okay this guy he's 35 he messaged me i'm going to complain to spotify for you not being named this week's hottest single these corny fucking messages like did you say hi how are you like do do people really think these corny shits were yeah let us know please down below do the corny comments get you off do you guys get enticed by that like oh my god oh let's hear it girl let's hear it i am so rude yeah wait are you barely realizing that some guy told me and here we are matching again lol good morning and i said laughing my ass off oh yeah what did you do to scare me off he said i forgot but i just got done crying over you and then i don't know the next screenshot says do you have kids and he said Damn, yes, three kids myself. And I said, maybe that's what scared me off. Oh, you said that to me. You said that to me. <laughs> no, I think that's fucking hilarious. I don't think that's it rude. It is hilarious, actually. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Another one from yours that you didn't like and you sent me this. Oh, I want to know what you guys think about this. Because with this, with this new fucking, like, generation that's so fucking woke and woe is me and fucking yeah. victimization, I'm so curious to know what you guys think about this. This guy... And this is in his fucking bio. Mm. Okay. Dating me is like, that's his prompt. And it says, my last girlfriend had a special needs son. And I took it very seriously to just get screwed in the end. I was always there. Not once did I ever leave their side and was always there to help her with everything. I'm a good guy. Why do you feel the need to unfucking? Pack all your fucking baggage in your bio on your fucking bio. Like, I want to know what you guys think about that. Like, why are you starting off just to get screwed in the end? Like, fuck. Talk about a jaded man. I'd be scared to meet him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, off the top, like, you're bringing your ex into well, your and then he dating seems bio. Like the type of fucking guy that if, say, for example, you met him for coffee and you're like, well, okay, no, I don't like him, that he would fucking cuss you out for not responding to him. Yes. You fucking bitch. You're a piece of shit. Why don't yes. you write me back? Like, whoa, um, sir. The coffee sucked. Yeah, like, god <laughs> damn. Mm-hmm. The coffee and the cock um, sucks, sir. Yeah. What's your, what's your others? What's your others? Oh, oh, wait. Um, can we get a little? Why extra? was I on your couch crying? <laughs> this is your couch. Yeah, I know lash- that's my couch. I have my makeup fully done with lashes and everything. I have, and I'm crying. You didn't send that to me. No, I sent it to, to Derek. I'm looking through our because I always send him dating shit too. Oh, I'm on the struggle bus of life here. God damn, man! I'm talking about a struggle bus. What is that? Ma'am. Is it, that the thing? It's a butthole. And he's spreading it apart with his fingers. Oh! I'm going to read this one to y'all. Hey, what up with you, homie? I'm looking for some hot fucking fun. I have extreme blue balls and I need to be drained and also will be dicked down really fucking good and also multiple times through the day and I love to swallow nice big warm loads. Mm. Also, before I forget to say I don't have a gag reflex either and I can take it balls deep. Oh. Jokes on you, bitch. Can't even get balls deep with me. <laughs> That's what I should have wrote back. I forget to say I don't have a gag reflex either, and I can take it balls deep my down my throat. I'm also a big fucking freak. And then he sends a picture of his booty hole, and he's spreading it apart like this. I'm um, sorry. Like just it's a asshole, coochie. Assholes don't ever like we like. It's just so wild that we live in a world today where people will send you a picture of their 
fucking asshole without immediately you, without you even without asking. you requesting that it. was his first message to me and i was like ma'am block do you have any others because i know what i want to end this fucking video on because i'm sorry but this was my you most you know what absurd. i used to get mad at i already told oh oh love that okay you were ill prepared so when remember how i told you like on my profile before i would have like a picture at the gym and it's obvious. I go to Planet Fitness. It's all fucking purple. So many people have to talked to you purple. about this. Yeah, they'd be like, "Uh, not Planet Fitness." And guys would hit me up, and they would respond. And be like, "Uh, not Planet Fitness." And yeah. I'm just like, "Why do you feel the need to say that?" Like, okay, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, Le whoa, God forbid, fucking. You work out at Equinox. We got oh. Dwayne Rock here. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, did you think I was gonna reply to you? It's like people always making it their personality trait to talk shit about. Do you people. remember what I replied to one guy? Um, he was working out at a shitty gym too, so you commented on his. Well, gym. no, his fit. I said based on your physical, uh, oh physical yes. fitness stature, I don't I'm not gonna take your advice because yeah. he was all scrawny, little rinky dink guy. And I was yeah. Like, well, I was gonna say, and then people. I'm like, like, I'm a female trying to do cardio. I don't give a fuck what gym I'm at. Like, like work out at your fucking apartment complex gym. I like, was who just cares? Like, you're not cute. like, bitch, I guarantee you I'll fight you. That's what I guarantee. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say too. I I've seen before like a lot of people, like a lot of men specifically, will talk shit about girls who have pandas. I'm like, and you, you, I feel like you are like, you know, you talk a lot of shit about pandas, right? And that's all fine and dandy, but it's because you're a girl, a straight man men, talking shit about you girls care what, having if she has pandas. A pussy, why does it matter what shoes she has on? Like literally, yeah, I've seen that too. I want to end this podcast on this one note, and this is controversial. And I was—I even told her that I was thinking about like making a full video about this because my mind was fucking blown that this person went off on a fucking tirade calling me a fucking transphobe, oh. and I was triggered by this. So I'm gonna be honest. Oh, we briefly did talk about it when we were doing little videos on my channel. Yeah, I honestly want to know your guys' opinions on this. Please let me know what you think about this <laughs> so i was speaking to a person right and i'm going to be fully honest with you guys this person had on their thing that they are fe female to male transitioning and honestly thought he was hot right i was like wow he hit me up and i was like wow this is a good looking guy i don't give a fuck if you're trans like dead ass i was like i'm attracted to this person you look like a man yes so we talked for three days and on the third day unsolicited this person sends me a picture of their downstairs region and there was still a vagina there. And okay, now I know this is where, okay, so it's so crazy <laughs> that I have, I, I have only, honestly, only one female to male friend who's on testosterone and I have known that like the clit will grow a little bit bigger, but then also there's people out there who get surgery to have like an actual penis. Yes. So I don't know too much about that, right? So, to me, I was unaware, but obviously I was going into this open-minded because to be straight up honest with you, as a gay man, I am open to dating a trans man if they have a penis. I'm not attracted to well, vagina. because you like to get fucked. Literally. So I mean, I'm like, cool. yeah. Sue me. So I have seen before, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have Googled it before, and I've seen like, oh, wow, they can create a, a penis, right? So I was thinking that this person may have had something down there if you guys have watched 90 day fiance before there's actually a female to male uh trans person and they had the surgery you know and they talk about it on the show and everything so i was like oh okay like i would be open to that you know there's actually this one famous i think you would think that he's hot this uh trans man who's on rupaul's drag race as mm -hmm. like a pit crew member mm -hmm. he's hot his name's like laith laith ashley or something oh, like that like he used that. to be a popular <clears throat> model beautiful right i'm like oh hell yeah right yeah, fuck me. so i'm talking to this person and we're just Honestly, our conversations are very innocent. What happened Just, when you got the coochie picture? Ho hold on. <laughs> let me let me, let me build the scene because our conversations were very chill. Yes, like getting to know each Love other. That. Like, what's your name? Where are you from? Normal. Blah, blah, blah. Where do you like to? Yes, very normal. On the third day, randomly, I get a picture of this person naked, right? And then full cooch out. And the person says, are you into this? Question mark. And I wrote back my exact words. Honestly, no, I'm not into vagina. And this person goes the fuck off on me and says, wow, I didn't know you were a fucking transphobe. I didn't take you as a transphobe. You seem like you were cool, blah, blah, blah. I was like, how am I transphobe? I literally wrote back, how am I transphobic? And then the person blocked me. My whole thing is I'm a gay man. I'm not attracted to vagina. Well, you would get a bitch if you were. Exactly. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I understand that there's men out there who are like, oh, like, okay, I, I'm down to you know you know Did fuck you a coochie. A no. Yeah, I I, like and I because I was like, oh okay, like let's go ahead and stop this here. I have to be honest that I'm like I'm not into that. Like I'm not into coochie. My whole thing is, is how do you get off calling me a transphobe? 
Because you have a vagina. I'm a gay man. I'm attracted to That's like to me. You saying you're anti-feminist because you don't like me. You don't want to fuck me. Girl, like, I'm just like, I'm not getting it, girl. I'm really not. Like, So I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about it. That's the whole reason why I put it in this video because you know it happened on he Grindr. Woke, he woke up and chose, like, I'm going to be offended today. Well, I think because maybe he wasn't used to, like, somebody being honest and saying, like, no, actually, I'm not attracted to that. And I think Well, you said it. Thought. You could have just blocked him. Literally, right? And I was like, honestly, no. Well, because, bitch, I was like, oh, we could be friends. I don't, girl, girl let's be friends, whatever. Because I thought that he was cool. And honestly, straight up, like, I did think that he was attractive. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to, obviously, sexual Sex. chemistry, it's like, it's not going to be there because... Yeah. I like something downstairs, yeah, yeah. you know? And I think that it sucks that people have this mindset of, like, calling you a transphobe just because I'm like, what the fuck? How does that make... I didn't, I didn't call you the T word. I didn't fucking I didn't say... say I just said, oh, I don't like pussy. I, I didn't even say that, girl. Yeah. I literally said, honestly, no. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I'm like... Some people want to be coddled and like to. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Mm. That wraps it up for our fucking dating app, Ix. And honestly... Can I browse somebody's phone number to make a new, <laughs> to make a new hinge? She's like, I want a new hinge. Please. I want a new Tinder. Let me know. Please, girls. <laughs> no, but for real, though, like, let us know. How the fuck do we meet people these days without apps? Like, because everyone's trash. On okay, let me not say everyone. But yeah. honestly, I would go as far as to say 90% of them are trash. Honestly, in my Good opinion. Good 87%, yeah. Oh, okay. So she's 3% behind me. Not too <laughs> far off, you know? Yeah. Let us know. Because, fuck, we need to know. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love how we only tried one flavor of the happy Do y'all know anybody that we want to date us? <laughs> Do you have cousins? <laughs> like, you know our type. <laughs> like, um, Girl, I don't have a type. Send them, send them our, our... Like, set it up, guys. Do you guys have anybody? You got a brother? Can you imagine one day presents? we do a fucking podcast episode of, like, online dating? Like, yeah. actually dating in person? Send me Blind their date? Instagram handle and, like, we'll mess. We'll see. I'll be so fucking I'm being dead serious. I don't know about you, but I am. No, I'm, I'm not serious. Being serious right? no, I am. I'm not. I'm like, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to be single for life. Fuck it. I'm just going to get That's dogs. That's a choice. And, like, yeah, whatever. You should know one thing about me. I'll get fucking bucked off the horse and I will get back on <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all we will catch you guys next week don't forget to like and subscribe oh don't forget to follow our tiktok follow our tiktok and please tip top <laughs> our tip top she said and, tip top and put four leaf clovers in the emojis. oh yeah if you guys have hey we haven't done that in a while i know that's what we're gonna do it today if you guys have made it this fucking far leave some clovers, clovers down in below. the in the comments yes and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace happy out happy st patty's bye